In seven days, we will fight to the death to control the Iron Throne. It's me, Forge Labs, It Ryan, Sneeve, and Shadow Mech as five kings all trying to be the one on top. And we're each bringing an army of players to back us up in the biggest scenario we've ever done. This movie is a set of twists and turns, politics, betrayal, and murder. And hey, this is a massive project, so I've launched a limited edition t-shirt commemorating this movie with my house sigil and house words on it. It will be live for 30 days after this video goes live and then it is gone forever. But now we head north of the wall to the barren frozen north where one king will don a crown, rally his army, and march south to conquer the world or die trying. 10. Oh, here yeah, we go. Ten. Here we go. Oh, Guarantee no. he's eating right now. Oh, he's absolutely eating now. <laughs> I, I would not Two, doubt one. that. One. Go! Go! With us north of the wall, we had a lot to worry about, but food, water, shelter, those were the important things. Spent a lot of time getting the wood and cobblestone needed to be able to set up a basic fishing shack so we'd have some semblance of defense from the mobs that spawned in this place because they were honestly pretty brutal, fully armored and half the time holding weapons that doubled or tripled their attack power. As the sun started to set and it was already approaching night rapidly, we threw down a bunch of torches as well just to set up some sort of perimeter that would prevent mobs from spawning directly on our faces. That didn't stop creeping from popping up and giving us some trouble, but thankfully, things are going our way. There's something underneath me, and I don't know what it is. Do you hear this? Oh, yeah. I'll watch your back because there's like... Look over there by the torches. Oh, jeez, it has a broadsword. Oh. We cannot stay north of the wall for long. No, this is, uh, this is not safe. Okay. Okay. Let's get inside. We are over 5,000 blocks away from anyone else in this world. And there is a massive wall that separates us from all of them, but it's mainly there to protect them, let's be honest. We have a long and dangerous journey ahead of us, and the least of our problems was food. We're eating rotten flesh to try to basically survive, and killing spiders for basic string and supplies to be able to make fishing rods that then thawing the lake immediately adjacent to us allowed us to start doing fishing from the roof, meaning that we could actually set up a relatively healthy food source. So that's two of our main three checked off. With two of our basic needs met, the next most important thing is to secure the area that we're working in. With the shield and an ax, I dug my way down to where we were hearing all of those mob sounds, finding a decent sized lush cave with a bunch of armored white walkers inside. And with the lag, this was super risky to try tried to clear. I was eventually able to secure the area, getting a little bit of moss so we could bring greenery to the snowy north, and getting us seeds, which would be super useful to being able to grow food and have another replenishable food source. Y'all, I found a lush cave. You know, we, uh, we expanded the fishing area. We can get treasure now. Look what else we have. Yo, we got seeds. I got some great yeah. news. Cool. What's up? You already beat you to it. Oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, seeds. Yeah. Yay. Here, oh, anybody want amazing. a broadsword? I don't mind taking one. Oh, now, I mean? there's like 90 mobs down there. But here, here, Rofo, you're also, you're out and exploring. After coordinating for general food supplies, we headed down into the mines, trying to get more iron and valuable resources so we'd be able to survive. Getting down there for more stone, more resources, iron, redstone, and other things that we could use to expand our kingdom and our power is extremely important. And then Looney got back and flexed on all of us. Hey, buddy. We're making so much progress. In deep in the ground. <laughs> what do you got? That what do you got? This is why you're on our team, buddy. I missed this. Dude. Red how, many, how many diamonds do you have, Looney? I, I got six more. But being in such a barren, frozen hellscape, we really only had a few things that we could actively work on at any given time. Fishing throughout a majority of the day and hunting spiders and other mobs at night, just trying to get any armor or resources off of them that we could quickly gear ourselves up and be more likely to survive. 
Just as the one hour grace period on the server was winding down, Grady decided to go see if fall damage existed in this game. Spoiler alert, it does. But that was going to be the last death that didn't count. And the world was about to get a whole lot more lethal. All right, time for a scouting party, everybody. Actually, what I can't do is I leave it two minutes. Bye. Okay, stay here, weapon. All right, away we go. And we're done. Yep. <laughs> that was worthless. Right out of and. Uh, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where the world ended. I don't know what doing that. I don't know what interacting with that does. You have some sort of potion effect on you now, Rofa. Oh, do you have like bad luck or something like that? Oh, I just increased my render distance. Never mind, we're good. Ah, there you go. Oh, there's the wall. Oh, that's gonna be I fun to get through. Oh, we're actually not yeah, it's right, too right. far. From there, I took a small break from the world of Westeros, and when I returned back a few hours later, my kingdom had started to blossom, and the North was becoming a formidable force. Citizen, I need an update. We have a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Walking around and checking in with everybody, I saw that we had actually set up a meaningful supply of food, and we were growing kelp to be able to have a renewable fuel source. Additionally, we had captured a villager in a boat, which would come in very handy for high tier trades, enchantments, and being able to set up a positive economy. I took all of the diamonds and selfishly set myself up with a chest plate and a helmet. I am the king after all. From there, I ran along the clearing towards the wall where HP had started building a castle in preparation for our job to ascend this massive ice structure and march our way southward where new lands were awaiting to be conquered. Excellent, excellent. I was saying we should start preparing to like siege the wall. Oh, and, yeah, we do need we scale need cows. It. We need cows for sure. Because we need to we need to get yeah. we need to get south. Yeah. Oh. We wasted no time starting to set up a set of stairs that allowed us to ascend towards the top of the world. After getting things together with multiple people, we were able to set it up as sort of an assembly line. I would put down the blocks, HP would put down the stairs, and we'd just continue spiraling our way upwards, hiding from the phantoms whenever they would spawn during the night to avoid getting knocked off and killed by gravity. Because the absolute last thing we need is to have people dying this early and putting our kingdom at a massive disadvantage. This took almost all of the deep slate that we had and several in-game days for us to build up this massive staircase where we pierced through the clouds and we were still a few hundred blocks away from our target. As we went back for another resupply run, we turned and looked at our accomplishments and oh my goodness, is it breathtaking. Yeah. Three, two, one, turn. Oh, oh. That's, so cool. <laughs> oh that's awesome. Once we, once we get all the wood up, oh, yeah, that looks so good. After a quick resupply run back towards our initial fishing shack, using the kelp again as a renewable fuel source, we gotta make do what, what you can when you're in the north and there's nothing around, we return back to the wall, setting up a staging area at a small cave that was just a few blocks below the absolute top. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, okay, so we're just digging in? I guess. Yeah, I mean this can this this is this is a pretty good area. I like that. Shift area. on the edge. Shift on the edge. Oh, oh. it's so see. high up. Wait, I want to see. Wanna there was no way that we could say that we actually ascended the wall unless we actually ascended the wall. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, we are. Top of the world, baby. Future kingdom awaits. Future kingdom awaits. Oh, this is gonna be good. We put down our banners, marking this as an official landmark of the King in the North. And with our eyes watching out over the rest of the world from the highest point on the map, we spent a little bit of time going back and forth securing the top of this so no mobs would spawn and surprise us. And we miscalculated slightly. Uh-oh. Uh, we're gonna uh -oh. stop here. Right oh, now. we're gonna turn around. We're gonna leave. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna stay right here. And we're gonna stay right here. No, we're gonna have to go past. We're gonna have to go past. There's because the there's edge. witches. There's witches spawning oh. over there, which is a problem. Okay, oh. we're, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go past, real quick. 
Ready? Okay. Run, uh. run, 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 run. Running, running. Running moment. Don't get stuck in that gap. Yep. Oh I my right. god. god. That would be enough. Alive. <laughs> okay, down, 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 down. Close oh. off, close off, close off. Prepare oh. for... Oh. Okay, safe on both sides. Cool. And this is why we have a staging area, everyone. Yeah! Hey. With the wall officially captured as ours, we spent a little bit of time setting up the forward operating base, getting pearls and water buckets shared so we could safely descend if necessary, and headed down the spiral staircase, returning back to the fishing shack where I put down a set of orders for the players who were currently offline. Now, a major rule of this competition is that no communication can happen outside of the server itself. So if you want to tell somebody what's going on, you have to leave them a message. So there's a couple times where you're gonna see me put signs down and you're gonna wonder why, and that's it. We did not message on Discord at all while this game was running. But with the orders placed, it was time to lead instead of just telling people what to do. Heading down into the mines, I took everybody and we just started mining. Group strip mining away everything we could, finding gold, as much iron as we can, and smelting it live right down there in the mines to be able to set up our supplies for iron and steel. We found the occasional diamonds as well, which was definitely useful, but there was something that we didn't expect, which was probably what we got most excited about. I made I made this side of the cave cave in, like so we're these? we're probably flowers? safe over here. Look, it's a little guy! Wait, do you like these flowers? <gasps> he likes the flowers! Oh, he likes the flowers. Oh. It needs multiple types of flowers to be to be tamed. Multiple types. We might be in the wrong biome for this. We're gonna get a pet. So we found the one green thing in the north, oh my God, and we're so claiming good. it as a pet. <laughs> Down there, I grabbed a little bit of dripstone and some lava as well, knowing that we could set up a renewable source, which would be excellent for fuel, but also weaponry, and also allowing us to cast obsidian to potentially go to the nether. As I was organizing all of the spoils from our first trip down into the mines, Shadow was slain by a wither skeleton, and a king had fallen. Oh yeah, we have four blocks and 20. Right, oh on. no! Although Shadow Mech's a, uh, a king, isn't he? Yes! Oh no! <laughs> Shadow, Shadow's far from us. He's five thousand blocks away. We're not gonna make it there first. Nah. Well, this calls for. So Shadow is just done for the whole series. No, he can respawn after he's been conquered. Got it. Okay. But only him. But he's then only he's then under that king's control. Exactly. He oh. now works. Except, the, except. Oh God! This means that now there's an empire with twenty people. Oh. Oh. No. Now this is where I was understanding the rules a little bit. For almost everybody on this server, it's hardcore. You die and you're out. There is no coming back. But for the kings, rules work a little differently. We're on the life drain mechanic that you've seen in all of these other scenarios, where we lose a heart whenever we die to a random mob or something else that was unexpected. If we're killed by another player, however, that means our land is conquered, and you now serve the king of the team who killed you. But in the moment, at that point in time, I misunderstood the rules, so immediately, I was thinking that we should sail south. Problem was, we were thousands upon thousands of blocks away, and there was no way we would get there first. So risking everything of our kingdom heading out into hostile land felt like a bad call. So instead, we prioritized our attention here at home, setting up a lava farm to be able to get more lava to get some obsidian going, and a dripstone farm to be able to have a little bit more dripstone to be able to increase lava production down the road. We upgraded all of our armor to knight's armor for everybody who was online, setting up a high tier set of armor for Looney, our scout and ambassador, and the other players so they could log in and be protected. And just as I was thinking, that's it for the night, things escalated again. Uh, top chest. Oh! Mid chest, mid chest. Oh! That's two kings down! Oh, Sneeve is close to us. I was just gonna, nope, we gotta. I was just about to log off. Bring banners, raise the banners! Okay, everybody here, take a quick, take a couple minutes, get up, stretch your legs, get a drink. Yep. We're gonna go. 
Again, this was me slightly misunderstanding the rules. So once all the other kings synced on exactly what it was, I did check. We always check with each other when we play these kinds of things. Everyone on my team was hyped though. So there was no way I was logging off at this point. So instead we did something else that was a little risky. I, I don't know. So who's ready for the half of the force of King Lagoon now to just die? <laughs> you shush. <laughs> If we are in a nether fortress, we immediately block off both sides. If we're yeah. anywhere else, we secure it. Who wants to go first? I'll do it. HP, do not die. I sure hope the heck that I won't. You ha you're gonna have to come through back because you I can't know. tell us over chat. The 30 seconds that I was waiting for HP to return back were some of the longest 30 seconds of my life. Not being able to communicate in chat at all makes things immediately more intense. Lagundo, well, you'll be excited. What is it, is it a bastion? Three thirteen. <laughs> it's a bastion. It's a bastion right by our portal. By, not in. Okay. Not in. Good news. I think it's. <coughs> I think it's also housing, so I think we have nether wart. Nether wart would be good. Get yeah. some of that early. Okay. Shall we? Priorities. Priorities. Okay. Four buckets of lava. Yep. A little bit of nether wart if we can get it. Eyes on a fortress. We are not engaging that today. Got it. Until we determine whether or not the one shot kill wither skeletons are a glitch yeah. or not. I'm going to build, like, immediately build, like, a fort around our nether portal. I already We're got out one. Out of cobble. I got one. You already have. Oh, wonderful. Heck there yeah. is a mosquito. I Where see that. Gosh, careful, 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 careful. This drop is bad. We got we got another wart. I that see it, confirmed. yeah. The brute the thing is we don't have anything ranged. We're also watch for the hoglands. Yeah. Yeah. Um there is a Indeed, warp they forest. There is a warp forest directly underneath us too. Grookey, do you have another pearl? Oh shoot, mosquito. Mosquito? Shield. Are you good? Shield. Are you okay? Just whack it on your face. Just whack it. Got it. Through. Okay, oh, I'm gonna land on these chiseled blackstone. I'm gonna pillar up a little bit so I can get out of reach. It's the uh, there's no handholds for me to well, go down. I have down a, on. It's I have the a only boat. way I got. I can, I can, I can see if I, I can have a boat, boat too. It's fine. It's going to be faster this way. Where my tower is, there's a boat down there. Three, okay. two, one. We're good. Okay, you're okay, good. Okay, we're good. good. We're good. We're good. I'm down there. It's, oh. I got work. I got work. I got work. Hit it. So they don't deal a ton of damage. They're just yeah. scary. Yeah. It's just a just, it's just, just don't panic. it's a jump don't scare. Yeah, don't panic. <clears throat> it's a jump scare when it latches on your face. That's the whole point yeah. of it. HP, I'm watching you. You are clear. Focus yep. on calmly collecting everything yep. before you get jumps. Ready on chest? I'm I would say break it and take do you have an empty inventory? I'm not gonna do breaking, I'm gonna do Okay, it from stop, above. stop, stop, stop. Are you sure? I I should be out of reach here. No, I saw the armband, I saw the black and gold. Okay. I saw the, okay, I, okay. I know that I know believe me, I know that. Yes. Because <laughs> if they don't fully. see you, there's an odds they don't oh, even trigger. Got it. Okay, unboxing fully. Uh yeah. Just break it, just break it, just break it. Don't stand on it, but break it. Unless you know the block underneath it. HP, you're out of your box. Don't just go silent. Come on. Sorry. Ah, I keep forgetting I have push to talk. We're fine. Not Nothing really good good. Go but... up. Just get up because I'm nervous about something sneaking up on you in, in that position. Oh, zombie piglin oh, with a halberd right off. behind us. Let's be careful. Cool. Do a little bit of trading. Why not? Gave us three nether brick trades. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's awful. Celestial, Enderman right I, behind you, be careful. I see, I see, I see. Okay, in the boat. Oh, oh I know that's good. Birds do give reach, be very careful. What you are safe with in vanilla is not safe here. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, jeez! HP! Also, no, 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 no! Help, 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 help! Where are in the towers? Wait, 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 wait. I'm coming down, I'm coming down, I'm coming down, I'm coming down. Brute, brute, brute. I don't think brute, I think it's just a normal one. Should be following after me. Okay, let's get out of here. Out, 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 out,
Where do we go? Where do we go? Where up we here, go? up here, up here, up here. Up, up, up. Where the granite is. Yep. Oh my god, it's pretty scary. Oh my god. Oh out. my god. Yeah, I broke out. the wrong block. I broke All the, the wrong way out. Block. Oh my god. Also, Lagundo, thank you for picking up that island. Now we can farm warp stuff, yep. which is one big. Oh, we're okay. Without, we're okay. We're okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Comfort boat. Comfort boat. Rookie, come boat. downstairs and get the comfort boat. <laughs> yeah, and look at his comfort boat. We're in double comfort boat. boat. We're to comfort oh boat. <laughs> comfort boat. Oh Woo! my god. <laughs> oh. Just as I and the team were recovering from the stress of heading to the nether and I was preparing to log off for the night, there was one final surprise. Here's your one block annihilium. It's in the blocks chest. Oh, there. thank you. We can we can grow that later when we Ryan want to. Ryan just died! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Dude! Like so, Gundo, you're locking out, people. right? Oh my god! No, that's that's not three people. That's well, three not that's kings. Not, who's gonna I'm be my next? King? Before it gets it's. Me. It's been Deuces enough of a day. TBS. I'm done. Yeah, I'm uh, oh, yeah. I'm I'm not doing nope, more. Nope, um. Nope. Oh my god. Yeah, I I've had enough excitement for tonight. Yeah, I'm not I'm yeah. not doing Holy more of that. Yeah, kings are dropping like flies. Three are now down a heart, and their empire is potentially morally routed. Tomorrow was going to be an interesting one because tomorrow we would scale the wall. As day two started on the server, the Northerners were preparing to scale the wall, but we had an update of the resource pack, which fixed the banners and armors, and it was beautiful. Oh, that is so much better. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. It was night when I joined, and the constant attacking of undead from every direction was a reminder why we needed to head south. The White Walkers here would end us if we weren't careful and we needed to head to more fertile land. The message wasn't fully received by everybody on team, however, and while structures were being built, we demolished them to take the resources south, giving us a head start on a potential castle and keep on the southern side of the wall. We stuffed our pockets, got everything we could to move, and rallied the troops. My subjects, the time has come. For now, we will ascend the wall and move south. The rest of this world will know our names. Let us go. For glory! For yeah! Glory. What this one said. Running south, all we had to do was ascend the staircase. Due to the builds and preparation from yesterday, getting to the top of the hill was the easy part. It was getting down that was a lot harder. I would never ask you... <laughs> I would never ask you to go to a place where I would not go my, myself first. Let us take the south. 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 Let us. And unfortunately, despite our best efforts, we did not make the climb without a casualty. <gasps> no! No! Why did you all come down at once? I don't know why they went down first. Chief body blocked by Pearl. I would have been down I here mean, earlier. Slander. I mean, Ooh, get guys? as much stuff off of them as oh, we can. Charging at me. I'm running. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. We had that on lock. How did someone die? I don't know what they are, and I don't like it. No. How much? How many arrows do we have? Uh, I'm sorry, Celeste. Okay. Not knowing what those dragons would do, or if they would attack us, we headed off in a random direction, running as quickly as we could, and when the sun set, built up a quick little temporary shelter around us to protect us from anything that might exist on this side of the wall. While we were waiting, some of the people on my team tried to cheer everybody up, despite the loss. Did you know the word, uh, the French word for inch? literally translates to thumb which is how they got inches in the original uh, building of castles they would use the foreman's thumb it was standardized by the french king which made the french foot and the french foot meant that when you converted italian or french feet into english feet napoleon was short as soon as the sun had risen though it was time to continue on our march south to our new home 
I think I see the end of the snow. Right, let's head back a little. Let's head back a little more north. Dog. Oh, oh! Get the sheep away from that troop! Get the sheep away! Get the sheep no, away! No, get no, the sheep no, away. no, 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 no! Yeah, oh, did you tame that one? Yeah. Heck yeah! Let's go. You I didn't want to completely abandon the north, though, and look like every other video on this series. So we we're gonna stay somewhere within the snowy lands, finding this awesome bay with a cool peninsula out in the ocean and easy water access, which could theoretically connect us with any potential kingdom we'd ally with. As ours. It's ours, let's go. All right, start throwing down some banners, make a border. With banners down and the land officially claimed as our own, Chief was busy moving the animals over. Getting them to the point where we'd have a sustainable food, fuel, and wool source would contribute massively to our overall success. The thunderstorm and the snow really set the tone and made me, at first, a little nervous that maybe coming south of the wall might not have been the best idea. But as we quickly got a structure together and started feeling safe, my mind changed. I was focused on dominating this land, not worried about what we had left behind. With that, I left orders for all of my subjects, throwing down some light posts throughout the land to try to ward off any of the white walkers who might be spawning and shoveling away the snow so we can actually start construction in earnest. Knowing though that we had left some of our compatriots behind, I jumped to the water and sailed around the wall, looking up at this massive structure we had scaled, conquered lost one of our friends along the way, I returned back to our longhouse, leaving signs with orders and new coordinates of our new home inside for anyone who is still on this side and would join us in the future. I took a small break, and when I returned a few hours later, I grabbed everything I could, finally was able to send a message to Ryan, who had finally set up his mailbox, jumped back in my boat, and sailed back to my kingdom to see progress beginning. People just busy at work getting things together, starting on our kingdom, screaming in pain inside of some cells that we built for them. Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. So, say. how are you good? How, why do you sound sad? Um, well, Choof died. No. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, We've only lost Celeste, right? So Celeste and Choof. Hollow died too. <laughs> what is wrong? I gave. I, follow me. I uh -huh. specifically requested. To be fair, uh, half of them were broken as we were uh, repairing the house, but the one that says "Don't die" is still there. Look, I specifically requested stay alive. Stay alive. Yeah. Did you put the sign back when he died? Yeah. <laughs> Making coffee back in a second. No. No, that was that was up there. That's our AFK. He chair. just left it there. With two more citizens having died in the interim, our kingdom was starting to look a little worse for wear. Now we weren't the only kingdom experiencing casualties, but without a direct reference of where everyone else stood, it was hard to tell where we were in the power rankings and if we needed to be worried about a potential attack. Our navy however, was coming together wonderfully, and with two warships to our name, we could conquer the eastern coast. But as we started to improve the lighting and the aesthetics of our area, we had a visitor from the southern lands. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So conquer came over, we made a deal, and that's how we got price, which was pretty cool. I am not <coughs> sure about the main parts of that deal, because... The which is... Well, I'm not sure about the main part because the two people that were talking to Conquer were Shoof and Hollow. So. I, no, Hollow died before. No, it was, Hollow weapon. Died it was before. weapon. It was weapon. It was weapon. It was weapon. I'm like, but, but guys, hey, uh, so I one of my guys <coughs> kind of died out like far away from here. I'm I was sent to like go and like retrieve his boat. Did you happen to see a man that was literally made out of corn? Who do you have that by name? Corn Curry. It's a very, it's a, it's a pretty obvious name. He did not he die left. here. He did come here, but he died. Bro, here. are you I've the new ambassador for the Redlands? Uh, I don't really think so. I'm kind of just trying to retrieve that boat. Is it drowned with a longsword underneath your feet? Ah, uh, he can't hurt me. It's fine. I think, at least. Is I that your it. dog in the boat? Yeah. Okay, good. Just checking. Yeah, he came with me. Uh, kind of just tag along. 
I mean, we have built these two ships that you see in front of you. This is our, this is cool. They're pretty dope. Only yeah. two though. I mean, so far so we'll work our way towards a fleet. All right, all right. Let's you insult the military power of the north? <laughs> okay, but then what are you asking for specifically? I'm confused. Well, you see, I was trying to find Corn, and I wanted to know if you know which direction he went in. As far as we know, he went back south after speaking with our citizens. Yeah, uh, south? Like, back towards your land. Alright, thank you for not killing me. But real quick, I've sent a message to your king. Oh yeah? Uh, if the next time you see him online, you could remind him that the Northern King awaits a response, that would be wonderful. Alright, I'll be sure- I'll be sure to- I'll be sure to remind him. Thank you, I appreciate right. it. See you, Laguna. That was strange. The previous ambassador had come to us, but had died. Not in our lands and not by our hand. So why would they come to me, asking for their armor or their ship back? Did information not make it back? Was it an unsanctioned trip? Did the Red King not really have control of his people? I had so many questions and no answers. But while we were waiting on a potential response from the Red King, we captured a witch in a boat, which could potentially give us weakness potions without having to go to the nether, meaning we could cure the zombie villagers that we had in a box right outside of our longhouse. But we were gonna make this place look worthy of our kingdom putting up all of the lighting and setting up a different pathing strategy so that we could cut through the snow with the areas that we would clearly walk back to back. From there, I took a brief break to cameo on the Dominion Yule Log video. Make sure you go check that out over on Jamie's channel and returned later in the evening to an abandoned castle, almost no one around, and thought my greatest contribution would be to get what my people needed. So I geared up and ventured into hell. There I saw Chief's corpse built into the wall, forever standing guard from the mosquitoes and the hoglins, one who attached to my face almost immediately. The trick with them is to not panic, which is pretty hard when something has actually latched onto your face. I picked a direction and headed off, digging my way through, keeping tunnels and access ways relatively small, finding my way to a warp forest and nether wastes beyond that with two giant blue frogs off on the side, one of whom grabbed me with their tongue and threw me over a fall that would have immediately killed me. Thankfully, I came out victorious. There I built up a little shack and hunted endermen for pearls before doubling back, returning back to the crimson forest, fighting a few piglins, and just trying to see what was potentially around here. I mined gold, fought off any of the mosquitoes that would attack me, and got to another point where it was a soul sand valley in a basalt delta, just completely off to nothingness. There were a ton of bones available, and as I looked out over the ridge into this soul sand valley, I saw the posts of a nether fortress. This was exactly what we needed, but I needed to be very careful. Some wither skeletons had massively damaging weapons, which could kill in one hit, and I needed to be smart going into here. So I boxed myself up against one of the legs of the fortress, digging a spiral staircase up to a confined area, which I blocked off that wither skeletons would not be able to attack. From there, the blaze spawner was just around the corner, but I didn't have fire rods and very limited food, so I had to be careful and conservative here. I grabbed a few blaze rods, boxed myself in, and then just smacked at the ankles? Do blazes have ankles? Of blazes, grabbing four rods and accidentally hitting a zombie piglin, turning most of that hive mind completely against me. It's like if you say something controversial on Twitter. But as I started to completely run out of food, knowing now where it was and with the ability to come back more prepared, I wanted to quit while I was ahead and return back to my people a victorious king, not a dead one. So I abandoned the fortress, running back out through open nether, the soul sand valley, fighting off more piglins in the crimson woods and dealing with the mosquitoes who were constantly trying to jump scare me, making my way back towards the portal and returning to the overworld world victorious. Oh, I can speak. I can speak and I can breathe. Oh my goodness, was that terrifying. With that, I did what no other king had done yet, raided a fortress and survive. My people now had the means, the motive, and the opportunity to dominate this world. All we had to do now was play our cards right and see where everyone else stood.
It's day three on the server and tensions are starting to rise. Blood has already been drawn and the shenanigans and sabotage of a Game of Thrones world is starting to take shape. As I appeared in our little starter base here at our home, I'm reading signs for updates on everything and getting an update on our villagers, which are starting to get to work. Uh, uh it, that's no. my, that's me. Oh my God. I don't have the texture pack on, so for me it's just a regular zombie. That's me! That's my- no, that is my skin! That's the gauntlet on the right hand. He absolutely I, did make a White Walker a version of me. But as we started working on our economy, our ambassador slash scout slash thieving goblin appeared and came in to give us an update. My liege! Hey! hey. <laughs> Yo, rookie. Hang on, your, your volume is low. Don't forget the knight. Nice. I am also still here. here oh, let's... yo, AP. Good Sweet. to see you, buddy. Don't go too far. I think we should have a meeting. I think we should okay, have a meeting. Okay, here, let's go to the let's go to the castle. Let's go to the longhouse. Can we have uh, chairs stand, like in the we middle. Can stand like men. No, let's go get the chairs. Let's go get let's the chairs go, in the other let's house. Let's get chairs. Here, I'm gonna check my mailbox while you all get chairs. Yeah. Oh. I'm like. Oh. Oh ho ho ho. We have a. I am presuming this is going to be a peace offering. Oh, I'm just taking a wild guess. that's interesting. Okay, here, here, no, but here, hold up, hold up. We gotta hold on. I do a thing. We'll, we'll build a throne. Promise. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I want right here. This is. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. This important. This important. Oh yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Oh, it's King of the North. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's so much better. Me. Yes, okay. <laughs> I've been to many places. Guys, I don't know uh, how, how much you know, but on Saturday, we started our adventure, and as you guys made your way down south, I got stuck in a huge snowstorm. So once I made my way to the wall, you had already scaled it. Somebody's unfortunate demise on the bottom. I think that was Celeste I, in the fall. Yeah, Celeste in the uh, The thing is, I, I, I got a, an assignment from our king to uh, venture far down south. And I had to meet the Red King, to meet yes. King Ryan, which I did. Um, I also got another assignment from you, which was uh, whenever you see opportunity, take it. Yeah. Whenever you find something nice, just take just it. sneak it with you. And we made, a, uh, we made a pact. And we basically discussed that because we are so far away from each other, there's no real way to back each other up when we get into combat. Like, if, if we're under siege, they're never going to be able to re reinforce us. It's just too True. Far. The boat ride Impossible. takes 45 minutes. Until um, the final day. Exactly. So that's what we spoke about. We decided that during the final day, we should just make it so that we are the last two teams standing. And we don't have to talk about this much more uh, from this point forward. The, the goal is quite clear. We're going to be the last two teams standing. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to make sure that we keep north during fights. We stick at the north side of whatever the battleground is. They stick on the south side. And we try to find each other over the east. And if we do, and we can send which a team in between us, we pounce. Both of us. Oh, I like the sound of this. So basically, we're both we're somewhat allied with the desert team. Is where we're so we're allied with the yeah, red yeah, king. Yeah, yeah, we're no, we're not somewhat allied. We're like deep. We're deep allied, allied with the red king. Looney then gave us the rundown. He had traveled basically the entire world and knew where everyone was. So we had coordinates for every single castle. But when he came to the update for Sneeve's place, there was a little bit more to cover. Um, their castle is on top of that mountain range, and yep. there's no real way to get up there. Also, I was there. Um, I've seen their entire base because uh, they, they have like a, a wooden shack which is um, down below on the ground and Brock was building and I've just been chatting with Brock while I walk all around and uh, th they had like um, they had all their villagers on their professions and all the books they could need and all the stuff they could need but they were still struggling for emeralds so they are very advanced but they're also right now they're they're vulnerable because their position everything that matters to them is not where they're building uh i took all the as i was talking to to, to brock i took most of their blaze rods and i took a <laughs> okay. max max armor set uh the, not the set the, the chest plate and i took uh the books i really needed um so that's my well to that end it, i noticed i noticed your chest plate kind of doesn't match you should no. update it 
Um, I, I tried. I, I don't think I can overlay it. No, you can't redo it. So that's, it that's a bit of a, a thing that we have to address right now. Um, but basically, they're, uh, considering how many of them all are online, I think we should assume that all of them have Prot4 in it. Well, the good news is the Youthfall King wants to be friends. Yeah. So we don't need to worry immediately about our most immediately southern neighbor. Um, so what do you think is going to happen war-wise? Do, do you think there's going to be um, teams that are up against each other? I don't know, because I think if anyone is at most at risk via being conquered, it would be Team Forge. Because there's only three of them. Everyone outnumbers them significantly. And w we will clearly outnumber them and outmatch them in tech as well. Uh, I mean, uh, Robert yeah. is Robert. Robert is pretty technically skilled, and Kim knows this land better than anybody. So there's a chance... But it would be... I don't think... It'd have to be a low one. They have nothing up their, up their sleeve. I think they, oh, they have they some have sort of... Oh, they have something up their sleeve, but in a direct fight, face-to-face, -face, no tricks? Oh, also, I told, I told we Brock that my um, negotiations with uh, Red Team completely broke down on account of me trying to steal their armor. So you have, you've, you've taken two separate max armor sets from both teams? No, no, so I gave the one back and, and okay. exchanged it for diamond, which is somewhere in a drawer over there. That's the tribute from the Goofball King. 64 diamonds. Up. Yes, 64 I know. 64 diamonds are easy to give. I can't pick them up, so somebody has to because my inventory is full. Wait, Looney, what's the weapon called that you're using right now? The Halberd. Um, no, the No, it's arm. a Gizarm. From there, we finished talking strategy, getting into the nitty-gritty of what items and armors we should be using, as well as giving Looney a tour of what we had accomplished at home while he was far afield wandering and causing mischief. He put in a few requests for specific enchantments and a few items that he could use to really just level up his troublemaking skills. But as we started thinking about what our next steps were, it required a few very tough decisions. Yeah, this is where it gets tricky because with, according to the, there's no double crossing. So if we enter into an alliance with them, we're allied, full stop. We can't promise two different teams that we'll be there until the end. So, so you've, what if, you've arranged this alliance. I need to confirm it as the king. And I need yes. to now decide who do we think is the stronger potential ally. I think... Ryan. I think we take Ryan as our ally. And we we get a assassin pickup kill on somebody essential on Sneef's team. Doesn't have to be soon. It be oh. quite late. Who do we, who do we know is uh, pretty... Well, who do we know is on Sneef team? That's online at least right now. I think like um, uh, Jamie, Kip, Jamie, uh, Kip. Grady, Red. No, Reds and Shadows. Oh, Kip, Gra Jamie, Grady is scary PvP wise nowadays. Grady yeah, is? he's really good. Mongo, uh, Mongo's on Sneeve's team as well. Problem it? Well, no. The problem is for more than for more than Looney to go, we need to declare open war. And that's, oh, that's uh fair. If it's an that's a whole I, nother animal. You know what? Um, I, I gotta go to bed because it's almost 3 a.m. And uh, okay. I'll here. So, um, here's I'll my thought. Where... Yeah. Here's, here's my thought as far as your next. <clears throat> You've been very good at going to other lands and just finding things. Right? <laughs> I, think, I think that's what you continue to do. You go to mm -hmm. lands, you find some stuff, you check in on people, you see what they're up to. Continue to get us information. Don't kill unless you think it's a perfect yeah, yeah, opportune agreed. moment. So what right? is it, what defines a perfect opportune moment? I would um, I, I would not go for players. I would go for resources. Yeah. Yes, go for resources, not for people. Yeah, and not 100%. just on not just on teams need. No, no, like, I understand. So, be a constant yeah, setback. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll try that. I'll see I if I can like literally wipe somebody's villagers' population. That'd oh, awesome. that would be amazing. Or just leave them one. If you want to play it up for drama. Mm -hmm. Leave a sign that says we're we are watching and see if they get the whole eye motif. If you okay. want, if you want to be more shenanigans, eh, okay, maybe okay, okay. frame another think... team. Bye, buddy. <laughs> see you guys <laughs> Great work. Bye, Looney. GG's. Get awesome base. I love the progress. We're getting see there. Soon. See ya. Oh, so good. That is. I so knew so making him the mischief goblin would be a, a, <laughs> the right call for this team. After sitting and thinking, I wrote out two letters. One, agreeing to Sneeve's defensive pact, but nothing greater. This kind of gave me a little bit of wiggle room, considering the fact that Looney was busy being a little bit of a goblin in their lands, I didn't want to commit too hardly to working with him. Another, 
which gave me a little bit of distance was to the Red King. My thought process with us at each extreme end of the world would be able to kind of just press inward on everybody else, letting them fight amongst themselves and each of us only really having one flank to worry about. With the politics done and dusted, I did a little bit of work contributing to the overall aesthetics of the area, creating a signboard for me to be able to post orders and instructions and updates for everybody else, and enchanting my spear to just get myself a little bit more knockback so I would be further unhittable. A few hours later, I sent the last last book and quill that I had, sending another message to Forge through the mail, asking for leather and feathers. We had enough cows, that was mainly for free, but the feathers was something that we had yet to see this far north. My kingdom know if you need anything, thanks King Ryan the Third. Excellent news, everyone. Our alliance with the South is formalized. Now knowing that the southernmost kingdom in the world was our ally, while we'd be too far to help each other in earlier battles without a massive advance notice, we could help each other in the final fight, and that is what I was mainly focused on at this point. I did quite a bit of work around the kingdom, hunting monsters, trying to get another trident. Oh, that would have been amazing. And harvesting kelp which we were still using as our primary fuel source since it was a net positive from cooking kelp with kelp and it's a great way to short circuit things when there's very few trees to work with oh, more gold. oh yes one fish it was meant to be but with all the villagers set up the way they were cats were starting to spawn and i tamed the first cat to be born in the north. From there, I was killing spiders, mainly looking for spider eyes, which we could ferment and turn into weakness potions to start up a zombie curing cycle for all of our villagers to get ourselves better prices and powerful enchants for basically nothing. I'm also killing creepers for gunpowder because let's face it, explosives are one of the most powerful weapons you can have in a medieval setting and we're gonna want those. With a couple potions brewed, I went down to where we were keeping all of our employees, infecting and curing one of them to be able to get a better overall loop and potentially starting to be able to turn a profit here. From there, I jumped in one of our ships and sailed south, looking for chickens, potentially getting a little bit of more gunpowder and sugar cane, and getting sand, something that would be also extremely important if we want any sort of explosives in this world. While I went far enough south to be able to find birch trees to expand the build palette for my citizens, I also found two chickens, leading them up and bringing them home. Now, let's see if these can put into the big boat. Or at least I was hoping so. Thankfully, they did get in the boat. I have no idea how I'm actually going to get them out of this ship, but we'll figure that out later. As soon as I started sailing back north, Joy fell and died, which... If you've watched Dominion, you kind of knew that was coming, right? I returned back to my frozen kingdom, checked the keybinds, figured out how to kick the chickens out of the boat, and then continued to struggle with them for about 20 minutes while they kept getting back into the boat. And that, that was a frustrating little bit of time there. With them safely secured and the night starting to run a little bit late, I went back to the nether, focusing on another solo trip out towards the blaze spawner. This time equipped with half an hour's worth of fire res and more than enough stake to be able to heal for quite some time. The mosquitoes I'm able to kill in one shot as long as they don't attach to my face first and at this point I know well enough that I'm not going to panic. With fire res on board I ran towards the blaze spawner boxing it totally in and continuing to kill blazes as quickly as they spawn as well as mining out the area to create an overall larger spawning space to increase the rates and get more blaze rods faster. Additionally, all this killing was putting me closer to level 30, which was an overall net win, and would allow me to do a top tier enchant on my gear and potentially save us a little bit of time or levels in doing anvils and books so we could focus on making sure the entire team is stacked up pretty well. With over 40 blaze rods in my inventory, enough for everyone on my team to be in max tier armor and weapons and to be set for potions for probably the rest of the scenario. Scenario, I returned home, getting a pretty decent roll with thorns on it for my chest plate, which would discourage anybody from attempting to take down the king. And that was the end of day three. The politics are starting to ramp up, but the frozen north is keeping me protected. With an ally to the south and a bunch of question marks in between, I had no idea what was waiting for me as the sun would rise on day four.
It's day four in Westeros, and the kingdoms are finally starting to come together and communicate. Things are ramping up, and the politics of this world are coming into play. I logged in, and my people were quite busy, getting a lot of building done, with a new windmill having been constructed, and doing a lot of work with the villagers down in the hidden basement, getting a lot of trades that we desperately needed. But we still had a lot more work to do, and the timetable was about to be accelerated. So, uh... Sean and one of his other members that I forget, John and Robert, yeah, came over to here. To here, okay. Um, they basically had proposed that we join an alliance with them against uh, the Redlands. Because they apparently have heard that they are probably going to go to war with Shadow. Uh, they are they... already at war with the Shadowlands. Okay. So, Sean's group wants insurance with us uh, and with an alliance. Uh, defensively. Yeah, my... Defensively. A defensive alliance. There's that. Okay, so let's, let's read these in, in the order that we received them. Alright. So let's, let's see what we're working with here. Fantastic salutations. We at Snobbert cringed them. Are very happy to be a part of this alliance, verily. Snobbert. If you ever need of us, you need only call. Take with you this meal, you'll find it quite refreshing. Some steak and potatoes. A okay, second one. Dear Lagundo, I'm sorry it has taken me so long to write you back. Our builder, Sir Kimberly, has what we call brain rot and decided to make <laughs> several mailboxes he is be being dealt with. Ooh. I've sent what we have to aid you. I hope this helps. P.S. If you'd like to send an ambassador sometime to discuss a larger alliance, we will are willing to accept someone the Iron Crocodiles. So, sounds like that's already kind yeah. of in flight. He sent us some leather and some feathers, which is good because I used the last bit we have to send the last round of books. Yep. Granted, that was before when we had chicken. So... Dear Lagundo, as you have heard, we have gone to war with Shadowbeck. We have talked to Sean, and he is willing to join us in battle against Shadow. Really? We would be very apprehensive if you, we would be very appreciative if you were able to help us out. We will discuss times at a later date. Thanks, King Ryan the Third. With open war being declared amongst the kingdoms, this world was quickly heading towards violence, and I didn't want to get pulled in the middle of this and I wanted some protections and assurances from potentially being brought to war. So I sent messages out to two key people, Ryan, my existing ally, trying to get a face-to-face -face meeting. Sending one message every day wasn't enough and wasn't able to communicate effectively. We needed to meet in person. And secondly, I reached out to the person that people would expect me to do the absolute least, the Crocodile King. He was the smallest kingdom by far with only three people to start and he's also the most central. So if we could potentially make a friend there, he could cause some chaos in our name and we'd get off scot-free. But with war looming, we can't just have a longhouse anymore. We need to have a fortress. So I grabbed all of our deep slate and started building a wall surrounding the giant, amazing wooden castle that had been built. If people are gonna get in here, they're gonna have to do explosions to get in here. We're making sure of that. What are they gonna do? What's another, another good way I can get uh, levels? I can't I do the new armor. Uh, uh, let, trip me see, I go. let me see what my levels would be. Oh, I can get prop 4 on a level 30 enchant. Oh, do it. I can get aqua affinity on a level 30 enchant. I can get prop 4 on the boots, too. I'm gonna get- I get efficiency 4 from that trade on the pickaxe, so I'm- Here, is anybody level 30? Or no? With a potential massive upgrade to my armor right around the corner, we had other things we needed to take care of before we could actually commit to that. I went sailing out with HP, diving to the bottom of the ocean to mine more iron, since we had converted all of ours to steel for the Maximalian armor that we needed to upgrade all of our stuff. Once we were done with that, and as other kingdoms were losing citizens to creepers, we went down into the mines, doing a little bit of trading with our villagers first, and then doing anything we can to get myself up to level 30, mainly mining redstone down in the depths to be able to ping straight to that level so I could go up and enchant. Do I go for prop 4 on the chest or prop 4 on the boots? What do you think? Boots has a lot more variance in it, so I'd say go for that since you already have prod as a good one. Prot 4 and breaking 3. 
With the outer wall starting to be constructed, I also wanted to build additional protections inside. Those openable windows surrounding our treasure room are nice and all, and they look great from the inside, but I don't want people to just be able to sneak their arm in through the window to be able to grab our diamonds or netherite. And as I was building that up, I am, as always, trying to find more gunpowder from any creepers I could find, so I have more explosions for a final battle. I did a little bit of mining of redstone ore that was brought up with silk touch to get myself back up against level 30 again, so I could do yet another level 30 enchant on my armor, and started doing detail work on the wall. We want it to be functional, but we also want to be the best looking castle on this server. With some variants in the block palette and some walls here and there, it definitely fits the vibe of the frozen north that we're going with, and you know we were going to go extra. The steak and potatoes sent to me from Sneeve was quite fantastic, so I thought let's send some sushi back to him as a thank Thank you. I find out later in the series that he never knew that that actually came from me. Now, building this wall was no joke. It actually took me several in-game days, a couple hours, to be able to set up something that actually looked good, but was high enough and large enough to be properly defensible. I set up an interior catwalk of spruce slabs so we could stand at the top of the wall and shoot down, or at least have high ground on anybody who would attempt to attack us. And this required doing a lot of harvesting of wood and just a lot of logicking to make sure that it looked looked nice, but it still provided a tactical advantage. While I worked on that, my citizens built me a throne. I'm moving the table, but that's what I have so far. I like it. We should make a, like our little raised dais of like deep slate, like polished deep slate and deep slate, like the walls. Just right. like one block. Freshly invigorated by the faith they had in me with the frozen throne, I continued work on the wall, fighting phantoms to get myself back up above level 30 for another round of top tier enchanting, and also throwing mending on my grissar so I'd be able to keep it for forever. Down to the villagers for a little while, investing in my personal protection, as well as the protection of our castle, I got prop four for all of my armor pieces, throwing them on through enchanting and doing level trades in a positive emerald loop to get us a little bit more money. Diamonds and protection four was great, but it wasn't everything. We needed to upgrade to the absolute max tier of weapons and armor. Though with some critical roll on in my headphones, I went down into the mines, doing a little bit of netherite mining with some beds, which is a method that I normally don't rely on on because if I'm at the point where I'm going for netherite, I normally have a massive amount of TNT, but this was moderately effective. I had three pieces of ancient debris on my first bed, my fourth on my second, and continued blasting around to the point where mobs were starting to spawn. I had covered that much ground. All said and done in a stack of wool's worth of beds, I only ended up with seven pieces of ancient debris, but that's still one in a three quarter ingot, so that's still something useful and can set our team ahead a little bit. The rest of the night here was focused on my personal gear, getting sharpness, mending, knockback, any sort of protection and chance I can get, and curing the villagers so getting each of these in the future would be that much easier and that much cheaper. And I'm glad I did all of this protection and preparation because it would come in so handy because tomorrow, tomorrow the Northlands sailed for war. I'm gonna warn you right now, day five is the longest day in this entire video, and it is the most intense. So if you wanted a popcorn or a bathroom break, now is the time, and just, I'll wait. You good? You ready? You ready for the war that reshaped this entire continent? All right, let's get going. I logged in, down with the villagers, no idea what was about to happen, came upstairs, checked my mail, and things popped off. Oh. Interesting. Let's see what we got here. Meeting your place today, I feel appreciated because the line for upcoming events, King Snuffer. So if Sneeve wants to potentially be Sneeve wants to come say hello. That could be interesting. Uh find us the shop forever, so you find his food. He has been on the toilet for <laughs> You only have three people you consider sending someone here looking forward to matters. It's gonna see Robert she okay by the <laughs> dung crocodiles. <laughs> oh, Sean, never change. I'm actually gonna do something that is potentially a little risky. I need to make some friends and I need to know what's going on. Okay, I 
might be overselling Sean's message, but it's still important. If he's willing to joke with me, then he definitely wants to meet. So I went back and sent him a message, just trying to figure out where we should go and under what terms we would all get together. From there, I spent a little bit of time harvesting my potatoes, just doing a little bit of gardening, updating all of the orders, doing some potion brewing, checked my mail again. And here we go. We will accept you in due time. We are just finishing fortifying our walls. I will send you our location shortly less than it. That works. This potentially works. So if we can, if we can, hold on. If we can become allies with the Crocodile King, and if the Red King has gone mad with power, then we can, so far everybody wants to be my friend. This is different for me. I'm used to them all wanting to kill me. So, I need to figure out how I feel about this. Sean only accepting a meeting at his own base and no neutral ground and not coming to the north did ring to me a little nerve wracking. So I spent some time harvesting gunpowder, but primarily going for pearls. I wanted mobility and escape ability. And I needed to make sure all my gear could survive any potential fights. So the last few mending books I needed to purchase, getting that on all of my armor. So, so even if I got into a fight, I'd be able to repair while on the fly. While I contemplated my next move, doing a little bit of trading with the villagers, I thought about it and then sent a message to Sneeve. I wanted to meet him on neutral ground. We were defensive allies right now, but the interconnected web of alliances and potential betrayals just had me on edge. I didn't want to meet anywhere that was a fully built and controlled structure. And as I said that, I had another response from Ryan. Not what I was expecting to find. I'd be willing to meet. As I am war with Shadow Mech, I'm cautious to meet in person, however I am willing. I will not bring welcome in, however. I need certainties that nothing will happen to me or my men. Thank you, King Ryan. The problem is I just sent a letter, so I can't send one for some time. Oh, this is tense. I'm about to talk to Sean. There's no reason to also talk to Ryan. Oh, this is tense. It's weird being wanted by everybody. I'm going to admit it. I'm not used to it. So, oh boy. And it was at this point I realized why I might be such an opportunistic alliance for any member of the server. At this point in time, I'm the only king who hasn't suffered a death. I'm the only king at full health, and I've lost potentially the fewest people. If we're perceived as a military power and a threat in this world, then we can have our pick of the litter and basically determine who potentially gets second place in this world. As I'm still figuring things out, going back and forth and doing my kingly chores, Sean logged in and immediately declared war on Norway. Sorry, Kim. Ooh, look. Because it means I have to find an inky boy every time we are cheap. Kingdom cares about the rainforest. How about the Iron Islands, neutral ground to the west? <sighs> oh, Sneeve. Never change Sneeve. <laughs> I love him, but he really pushes this whole family friendly aspect of my channel to its limits. See, now I'm getting nervous because now everybody wants to be my friend. And I'm not used to this. I'm not used to everybody wanting to be my friend. I'm used to getting betrayed. So. I don't know, I want to control the fact that he quested there. Why there? That's so far cut off from everything. I don't like it. I don't like it. Rofo, you need to get upgraded. Come on. <laughs> A little bit. Oh, I think things are about to go down. Right, I think... Have we got any um, weakness potions and stuff like that we can... For what? For sure. the villagers? Uh, no. For... Splash potions for people. Uh, here we have uh -huh. we have power upping potions, but we do not have power. We do not have debuffing potions. Have we got um, anything for poison? Not yet. Do you have a guisar? No, I have a steel bastard sword. Okay, come here. That's yours. Weapon. Do you have a guisar? Yeah. Y'all, I'm nervous. There are way too many people on. There are way too many people on, right? It mm -hmm. scares me, right? So, aren't Sneeve and Shadow at war? No, it's it's Shadow and Red. Oh, this is a bad time. It's, Sha it's Shadow and Ryan. But okay, come on, let's go to the throne. We need to talk. 
I'm nervous. I'm getting nervous because I keep getting messages from everybody and everybody apparently wants to be my friend. And the last time everybody wanted to be my friend, I was murdered. Well, the reason why I think they want to friend us is because we have Looney. They think Looney is the biggest threat here. Yeah, this, but this that's, could be true. But that's also putting us at risk because Looney's a threat when he's online, but he's not online. There's a whole bunch of people exactly. online, and if they kill me, they get Looney. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> well, <laughs> and Weapon Knight. <laughs> no, yeah. but you know what I mean, right? Like, yes, I fully understand. Mm. I need to look for a friend in the most unexpected of places. Oh no, are we thinking? Am I thinking? Oh no. I think it's time to meet the Crocodile King, and I would like you to both join me. I upgraded my Grissar to Netherite, it checked my mail, and once again, the Crocodile King had sent me a message. And here, I think for the content play, we were sending messages back and forth so rapidly. I messaged him saying, yes, I definitely want to meet. He messaged me asking for assurances. They were the smallest empire after all. I sent back my word that I would meet him with equal swords on the field. And he sent a response that I was kind of expecting. Bring one person no more. Sorry, what? Bring one person no more? He just said bring one person no more. Who do you think? Who do you want? Which one of you feels safer in PvP? Me. Weapon. I'm the there second best pvp -er we got. Let's go, Weapon. Rofo, uh, keep building Stay up the safe. castle, prepare our defenses. If, yep. if anyone comes to the castle that does not feel safe, right, you have to send a message somehow. Send me a letter. Take care. Get that sword, get that Gwisar enchanted. You have access to the villagers. So I got Weapon Knight into a ship, jumped in, and sailed south. It took us some time to make our way down towards the swamps, and even then, we didn't want to risk our largest warship in the canal immediately in front of Forge's castle. Instead, we wanted it out in open water where we could potentially get to it, or protect it if one or both of us was potentially attacked. Knowing where it was left, we abandoned the boat, made smaller boats, and traveled inward on the water, arriving at Sean's castle just in time for the show. My mans, what's up? How are you? I'm a little nervous because now there's three of you. Why did you have to pick the hardest river in the world to navigate? Specifically because it's hard to navigate. Yeah. Wait, what What was that? Was that a tiger? We have a lot more than Whoa, a tiger. Oh, is that Lagundo? He's here. Welcome. Hello, welcome. Hello, okay, hello. stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back, stay back. I pre no, 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 not all three of you. Kim, go away. I was told you weren't oh, here. He, he. To be fair, he signed in. Like, oh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just giving you grief. Uh, where's Robert? I'd like to um, see all I'm, three I'm of you. I'm trying to jump up on the thing. It's he, so we hard. Are, when you come, if you decide to come in, you'll see the welcome. shambles that we have welcome. going on here. You can go get another person if you'd like. If you feel safe. No, it's okay. I feel confident. Okay. Careful, my king. If you're you're not going to like this part. Come on, go tell if me you it. accidentally hit us or we hit you, um, we have a lot of animals in here that are going to attack right away. Yeah. Uh, so just be be very careful. That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's I'd rather. Do, okay. Come on in. You're going to see what we're talking about here. There's a guy with netherite armor here. Okay. Are you coming? Just. I where where, weapon is testing the door for me. I you got you both got to come in. We're ner we're just it's, as it's nervous as you are. It's an airlock. I, have I do bucket. not. Trust that floor. May I break the floor? No. Technically, we can't do this. This is, our, this is our castle. You can't break anything in our castle. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm gonna go. We can discuss. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. I. I knew it. Lagundo, I'm gonna explain something right now. We have no intent to kill either of you, but we have to do this out of security. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you a chance to come in, and you can both walk out of here fully armed. If, if you, you don't, don't drop me in the hole. You have to go down the hole. You have no. to go down the hole. Then let's talk through the wall, but I'm not going down in the hole. If if you don't, he's gonna die. Sean, you do this every time. This this oh. but this is this is the thing though. We're not we have no intent to kill either of you. This is so purely for security. Him. Sean, I know for a fact that there's at least two other kingdoms who would wipe you off the map without so much as a thought. I know too. I'm here King. to give you an opportunity to survive. Yeah, go with him. What? Go with who? Robert, uh, don't go with Lugano. This, 
Laguna, there's, if you are to enter this, you're going to see a lot more than you know about. I want then you to I, go ahead, look down right now. Then let's talk Look here. down and zoom in. Look below our base and zoom in. I see him. No, but do you see the six name tags down there? Oh. What are you doing? What have you done? Drop down the hole and you'll find out. I promise you, you will not die. Oh, I hate this. You can take any precaution you want. We won't even strip you. Just jump down the hole. The, the, the hole is purely for our security because we're completely outgunned right now. You saw that your teammate did not die. He's perfectly safe down there. We put water down. We could have just had him killed by a drop pit. What is that on the water? Is what oh, that's a Yep. Yeah. He's safe. We could have killed him right there. We could have made this a lava pit. It could have been a drop pit. The intent is not to kill. It's purely security. I promise you, you will not die. Look at their faces. I can't see your faces. There, you can see my hand. That doesn't face. help. <laughs> Look at his friendly face. You will see a whole different side of this game if you jump down the hole. The decision you make right now will change a lot of what's about to happen. Content play! Okay. Your king is down here. Welcome. Come on in. You're good. You're good. I'm gonna show you what would have happened. We have the crocodile here. See? Mm-hmm. Could release him. Come on through. Mm-hmm. Give it. No. You watch. You walk. These are security. Do place. Look, armor's off. Okay. Look who we got. Oh no 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 no. Look who we got. I've been in this situation <laughs> before. No, no, no. Don't. Come on in. But look, look Sean, what we Sean, got. Do you know? Sean, should I release yeah. Weapon Knight? Yeah, yeah. Let him out. Let him out. Let him out. Okay. We're These working with Ryan, and I, I'm aware that you're working with Ryan, too. But look who we have. I see this. Oh my God. We have Sneeve. We have Grady, weapon and knight. we have Kipling. We got come three of them in one, one Weapon, knight. weapon get your stuff you back, please. Why these guys' legs? Come yep. on, man. I want, I want Weapon to have his stuff back. Yeah, yes, I'm giving his stuff back. Yes, go and get your stuff. I was just, it was just security measures. I didn't know what Sean was doing. I never know what he's doing. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> do, that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> yeah. Would you believe Actually, that first, Sean I said say that something? nothing would happen first if I went all, in the chamber? Everybody. We know. I just realized I forgot to give my skin some pants. <laughs> we know that Ryan wants to I'll take out Shadow. I'll just put a YouTube logo over you right now. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. It's safer. safe for YouTube now. So Thanks here's what's going to happen. Dawn. Thanks, We're gonna, Like You guys are free to go anytime. I'll show you how to leave. Here, you can follow me if you get uncomfortable at any point. Oh, wait, we're free the to door? go, Sean? Yeah, I, I, not I, I, you guys. Not you guys. You, you guys the door is right here. You, here, I'll place down a, a thing for you. Or do you have a do you have a redstone torch or something? I'll grab I do one. not. Yeah, yeah, just replace it. Yeah. There, you're free to go anytime. You can go up there. You'll shoot out, and you can walk right out of our thing. I'll, I'll show you. Do you want? Do you want me to show you up, and then you yes, can come back down? Yes, please. Somebody something to read. Thank you, Kim. I'm gonna oh, follow you. Oh, it's Diana or... Yeah. Oh, this just leads into our um. It leads into our house, essentially. You have an Enderman right there who... Where? Okay, we don't worry about him. Don't look at there, him. And then we'll show you some of our fun okay. stuff. You can come out now. Let's... Let's just... Take, let's take have a conversation... Want. No, I want a conversation away from their ears. Okay, right, they can't up. hear you from Wait a there. minute. Oh, I forgot about That's that. That's a kangaroo with a netherite sword! I <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. If you yeah, don't hit Robert. They teleport... <laughs> They teleport to me and they destroy anyone. That's amazing. They kick okay, harder look. and hit harder, unfortunately. Look, Sean. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I'm telling you right now, we have no intent. I was being honest, we have no intent. I am I know you're working with Ryan. We've had Ryan here. I've had I had um Welcome in, in the trap. We released him. We got Kipley. I told Sneeve if he wants Kipley to come get her. Then we sent Sneeve and Grady down the hole. What's going to happen next is because Sneeve is in an alliance with Shadow, I have letters going out to Shadow. Shadow is going to be coming here soon. Shadow is going to go down there. We're going to have Shadow on a jail cell, and then we're going to deliver him to Ryan in exchange for safety on the night of the, um, whatever, the attack on the castle. The, the great, the great attack. battle. We'll go with that. May I yeah. offer you an even more interesting deal? Oh, sure. boy. You know that netherite you're wearing? Yeah. Yes. Scraps. Worthless. Trash. Wow, what is it? The Maximilian? Oh, we Maximilian have Maximilian armor. We have Maximilian too. Yeah, we okay, got it on. Good. good. Just checking. Yeah. Yes. How are you on potions and books we, and everything we do else? Know, 
we don't have we don't have a potion brewer. That's the one thing we couldn't get. Yeah. We couldn't get another wart. I know, because we have it all. Yeah, we found the the emptied fortress. I found a fortress that was totally <laughs> ransacked. I've cleared two fortresses, and we've cleared every other castle. We own potions in this world. Yeah, we need we need some of that. Ryan went out to try to get us a netherite or not netherite, um, nether wart, and he couldn't do it. Nope. He won't. He wouldn't be able to because we have. What, what, what is the uh, deal for that stuff? What do you What do you want in return? I want to be king. You want to be king at the end? I, the best I can do is a fair yeah. shot at it at the end. Once everyone's off the table. Me and you. Well, and our I, armies. You can, no, no, you no. can bring. Up. Here's Here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Right. So you have potentially Ryan. You have Sh Sneeve in a cell. Yeah. You have Shadow. On we will get way. shadow. We will get shadow. On this right? Yeah. I stand in front of you as the only king who hasn't died. Mm hmm. That proves my value. You I have mean, Ryan I, I, as an ally. I have Ryan as an ally. Mm hmm. What I'm saying is, we get to the end, we make sure you and I are the last two kings remaining, and we fight. We what let about Ryan? Everybody else watch. A fair 1v1. A fair 1v1 fight. And then sure. the winner takes the throne. Is Ryan okay, okay with calling you king, or will you both have to take? <coughs> <out there? coughs> Ryan we'll, won't have we'll, a say anymore. We'll have to. We'll have to eliminate Ryan before the chance. And you and me, mano a mano for the throne. I like right. this. I like this. I accept it. Yeah, I accept. Eat, eat, eat the steak in in solidarity. In sol I don't know. I actually cannot eat the steak right now because I'm full, but. I, oh, I was about to punch you for a handshake because <laughs> no, no, I was, no, I was no, gonna, no, no, I was no, gonna no, punch no, you no, for no. a handshake. <laughs> I was gonna punch you for a handshake, and then your Can kangaroo would have lit us up. Yeah. Bubu. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! If I, I say... see that Ryan has slayed Shadow, because I don't need to be here for this. In fact, it's better if I'm not. Yeah, the last two kings, and we one on one right in front of the throne for the win. That's yes, how we I do accept. it. I will yes. leave, and I will send you some potions as an right. offer of good faith. I accept. I need Can you um a plan to make this happen from your end, because you're the one that everyone's been speaking to. I'm isolated in the north. Like I, I said. I, I, I <laughs> want to encourage you to get the supplies, not just the potions. Well, it's yeah, I want, I want to want, I'm going to want another word. Uh-oh. Be very careful, about it. Like, so we, can we can move inside or... Yeah, let's go inside. Um, I would want nether wart. Is that possible? N nether wart instead of potions? We could go down there and kill Sneeve right now. Why haven't you? Because I like Politics. to make video videos more interesting. Nether wart for gold, and you and I are the last two to fight for the throne. Yep, I accept. Cheers. Here's a... Uh, how much gold do you want? However much, you however much you can offer. I'll give you 10 gold for one nether wart. Deal. Okay, cool. I think we're good. Yep. Where's the... You're going to send another wart later? I'll send it via the mail. Okay. I'll ask I don't you have it out. with me. I'll stay away from the lever. Don't worry. I'm going to walk to the other side. We should talk later. Ow. Oh, there's that. Don't. So, um... Sean. Yeah. We should probably meet later to finalize the details yes maybe this time you come to me so that way we both have to yep. do traveling yep i will come i know where okay. you are don't worry i'll be on i'll be online tonight should we let's, all come or should let's we talk soon okay i'll tell you how many to bring send me a message when you're about to come i'll tell you how many to bring based off of uh how many people i have online at the time that feels really fair sounds good so our whole kingdom is three I'm, yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand back here so you guys don't feel like I'm gonna hit the lever. And you can walk it's out. okay. I'm gonna. It's not that I don't trust you. I wouldn't trust Tron. Yeah, I but I don't I trust you. All right. It's been a pleasure, gentlemen. I await to see the regicide. Yeah, for sure. All right, see you later. All right. Bye. Good, good doing. I'm get in. Bye, Lord. When I got down to the pit, my heart just started racing, and I was so weird, and I was more like really concerned for you and what would happen. I was ready. I was ready for him. I was ready for that. 
But Nobody then, walks when, into a too wide hallway. Are you kidding me? When he had me put my gear away, I only gave him the gear and my weapon. I still had all my pots, potion, and other necessary items. Good, good, good. That was the smart play. Then when he put me in the cell there, okay, so he has Sneeze. But I don't trust the fact that he has Sneeze there, because if you okay, would have had a now, king, here, weapon. Trap. Can we do totally. something a little bit more interesting? Are you, do you feel confident potentially doubling back a little bit to listen in? Oh, we wouldn't hear, we wouldn't hear anything. There's people on the ground. Never mind. As we sailed north, something that Weapon had said was stuck in my mind. They knew I loved a show. They knew I crave the politics, the betrayals, the backstabbing. This is my jam. This is everything I'm here for. And just something he said make me second guess. Trust, of course. We're going to trust our new ally, but we're going to verify because trust has to be earned. The Gundam weapon. Hi. Is it Yo. Yes. We returned from a fantastic theater performance. Meeting, meeting, meeting right now. Oh, okay, okay. Straight to the meeting. Um, yeah. Let me go and get. Get Rookie. Yeah, I was just given the biggest show that there ever was from a man who promises me that he can do oh so much <coughs> and he's like i have i have sneeve and kipley and grady just captured sitting in a he's, thing and i'm he's captured yeah. them he he's had, captured he them had sneeve kipley and grady captured down there he had them in prison cells and i don't i don't know if i trust it it gave me almost a heart attack I, yeah i know i don't know if i trust <laughs> it I don't know if I trust how, it. How did he? How did he capture his uh, base? His base has an airlock that you fall into, and Sneeve would be goofy enough to to continue to do it. I would think. So, okay, here's what we need to do. Here's what we need to do. We need to secure the gatehouse so that on a moment's notice we can obliterate whoever's inside. We've already started working on this. Uh, Rookie and I have already made a temporary modification with dispensers and potions that's what i want to see i promised forge single combat for the throne and i okay. don't know if he'll actually go for it and do you D would i go for it if you were an honorable mm -mm. man sure no 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 that's not why i'm asking my king i'm asking do you think we should also help Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. I don't think we'll get to the point where we'll get into mm. us being the last two standing. I fully expect the turn and the reversal. I've played with these people long enough. They it's they have a plan. So, it's all my <clears throat> game. So I have, I have, while I'm away in my other life, I have a mission for everybody. Somebody has to go and scout out Sneeve's castle. If Sneeve returns unharmed, clearly... This is a ruse and a trap. Okay. I, uh... I would let Looney, but I think I'd be the best bet for this. I don't think Looney will be on in time. Mm -mm. I I agree. I think it should be Weapon. Yeah, weapon I think, uh... the most up-to-date info. Weapon is good at combat. I think that's your play. You are not to engage. You observe. Promise. You observe, and you report back. There's only two ways we'll find out that this worked. You either send us a mail, or you return back with the word yourself. You can't send us this over Discord or anything else. You have to do this in person, mm -hmm. right? Don't get caught. Ooh, Stay alive. Stay this? fast on your feet. But if Sneeve returns, if you see his name, even for a second back in his castle... Grady, Kipley, any of them, yes. Grady, Kipley, or Sneeve, if you see them for a second back in their castle, back in their run. land safe. You run, you come back here, you report, and then you all get what you can and prepare for war. Cause that means they're coming for us. Nobody puts on a show like that if they don't have a finale in mind. Yeah, I got that loud and clear. Everybody good? Mm -hmm. Day five is where for these things always pick up. For the king. For the king. For the king. For the king for the in the, king. the north! So with orders given, fortifications being raised, the defensive power of our castle being increased, and a new scout being sent far afield to catch a glimpse of betrayal or treachery, I just sat and waited, offline in the void, just trying to figure out what my next move would be. I started logicking my way through all of the different scenarios. Who I could trust, 
And who would be a Bolton stabbing me in the stomach at a wedding? After a few hours away from Westeros, I returned to the world, and I got my answer. Alright, let's see how badly we got betrayed. Hi. Hey, Lex. What's up? Um, oh, I like okay. the look of this. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll let me let me just run you through it real quick. Okay. Was yep. Yeah. Uh, another lever going. That's that's the lava in the floor. Oh, is it all on carpets? Mm-hmm. So there's only five dispensers because that's all I could get my hands on. But that's not the that the. Let me just show you the piece de resistance, which is over this way by this lamp. What does it this is do? Unarmed. Currently, there's five TNT minecarts about to be placed. <laughs> yeah. It will obliterate the front gate, which means. Ooh. All right. I I have my mission up complete. Let Can let's I... let's meet. Let's let's get together. Uh. uh Majority because of this is good news. Explosion. There is one slight bad news, but I think I resolved it. It's okay. not that slight of a bad news. Slight of a bad news. It's not that slight. He was lying, wasn't he? Maybe a little bit. Oh, of course. Um, okay, so I got to their nation, and when I got to the mountain, I climbed up the mountain, and I did. I saw one of their members, and then I saw Sneeve. Okay. And Sneeve was there, and I got close enough where I could hear him talking. But right as I got to him, he logged off. And so it tells me, and also when I, before I got there, Kipley was not there, she logged off. But when I was snooping around a little bit more, I found their little village over on the other side of the mountain. And I was okay. snooping around over there to check out what they had so far and everything else. Uh, Jamie and one of their other members, I think her name is Robbie and Sparkles right now, was sitting over there as well. I was able to stay hidden for at least 10 minutes. And then I wanted to snoop inside and see what they had. And mm -hmm. as I got inside, I did manage to steal all their nether wart that they had available growing. But as my escaping, uh, Sparky was, Sparkles was coming up, so I boxed myself in in the open. Realized it was a bad uh, decision the moment she broke my spot, and I got out of there as fast as I could. After that, I came back here and discussed with everyone else here on what we think would be the best next move until you got back. And we came up with the conclusion that I would go back and apologize and say I was exploring. You went back and apologized? Yes, and I ex explained that I was exploring for our land, and I found a cool moose and bison on, on the way over there. And I believe okay. that works. Oh, and also, Jamie is very blind. I'm just going to say that. I have a clip I need to show <laughs> everyone later. She is very blind. <laughs> Jamie, I will, I, I will I'm sorry it. for including this in the video, but I'm absolutely including that in the video. Yeah, boy. I don't know heard or saw, but... Uh... Uh, Forge did declare war on everybody. Everyone? Every, he said, I declare himself. war on every single person. Even himself, yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you believe this or not, but at the same time... I feel like it might be a joke, but at the same time, it's getting free right With my fears confirmed, and a potential cabal of Forge, Sneeve, and Shadow all allying together, my only hope for partnership or teammates was Ryan the first person who had ever messaged me, and the furthest away. As I went and I checked with the ravens, I had a confirmation, and I knew what we needed to do next. Oh no, let's- I was, let's, I was just I, gonna I ask, Ryan. have we done the Ryan thing that we were talking about? No, we're not. Dear Ligger Notice, both are interested to repel the attack by Shadow and possibly Sneeve. If we could meet and discuss terms sooner, would be better than later. Thank you, King Ryan the Third. This is urgent. Shadow, Sneeve, Sean are all working together. If we do not work together, they will kill us all. Bring your people to our base immediately if we want to repel this attack. King Ryan the Third. Well, <sighs> we prepare for plan. war. How many of us fit in a boat? With the call to arms received and a long boat ride ahead of us, we packed our pockets with anything that could be used in a battle, sent a message to our ally that we were on the way, and I penned a message that I contemplated sending to Sean. I didn't want to reveal my hand though, so I wrote the book and gave my team instructions that if I ever fell in battle, they were to send it if any of them could escape. At that point, I probably served Sean, but I still wanted it there, postmarked in a sense, to let him know that I knew what he had done. Yes. 
about to fall off the water in my point of view, so I'm yeah, gonna yeah, wait. Too. <laughs> the problem is there's sorry. the problem is there's all <gasps> oh, oh that was a trident. <laughs> we're not no, <laughs> no. Oh, come no, on. No, we're not. No. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have other fish to fry. We we're not stopping home. until we get home. It's while we were sailing from our kingdom to the desert in the south, we realized just how immense this continent was. This was probably a 30, maybe 45 minute trip just from our kingdom all the way down to Ryan's. If we hadn't had advance notice and we only found out about an attack, there would be absolutely no way we'd make it in time. We'd only get there to pick up the pieces or sweep whatever ash was left from the crater. Us getting here first probably changed the tide of this battle and the entire server for the rest of this week. As we made our way down to the sands, we saw a small wall in the distance, seeing that that was their starter base, but it wasn't the coordinates that I had been sent. So we continued running along the torches in the desert, making our way to a far more impressive castle. Crossover there. Oh no. Oh wow. Well, okay. Wow. That's a lot of people. Okay, that's way more than three. I am not okay. kidding. We have just got mail from Sean, and we would love to invite you guys inside. We have, <laughs> we have some big plays going on. All right, come on in. I bet. I'll, I'll warn you guys right hold now. Hold on, hold on. Before anything else, I need to see the king. Yep, I'm right in here. Give me a second. I'm writing a letter to Sean. I, I would. All right. Hello. Hey guys. Hi. <sighs> All right. So you you really stepped in it, huh? Oh my God, you're so loud. You. <laughs> yes. That broke my eardrums. Do not mind. Do not touch Trust the sand. Me, do not, do not touch the sand, the sand under. Okay. Okay. Here. We're not gonna set we it should, off. Don't worry. We should step inside. Honestly, because yeah. You're standing you're on top inside, of a trap. This right here is all TNT. Oh. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. I was gonna warn you, but he wanted to speak uh, to the king, so. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's a pressure plate, so we gotta step on it. We are getting ready for the battle of Helm's Deep. We're about to reenact it. Yeah, oh, no, we were talking about that earlier. So All right. what are we looking at? We actually uh, have arrows. A okay. Among us, so, so we do. We do. I mean, yeah. I've been hearing we're that from everyone because off. we ourselves have also lost a few netherite pieces. Uh, yeah, just stay here. Um, that's okay. okay. Congratulations, you're the second. <laughs> yep. That means that we so, have to duel each other if they decide to. <laughs> we're not gonna duel each other. We need to duel the oh, other that guys fun. before it gets even close to that. Yeah. So, so you've stepped in it for sure. Yeah, yeah, that mm, it didn't end well. I had no clue that they were actually aligned with Sneeve, and from all intents and purposes, I was actually writing a letter to Sean because this, so Welcome In went to Sean's base to arrange a treaty. He was locked into a trap, and guess who was down there? Just make a guess. Any person on the server? Kipling. Yes. Yes, I, 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 was, knew, I knew that this yeah, would happen. Great. Yeah, it was a beautiful and little piece of theater. Yeah, uh, exactly. Wait, and so... That's where did walk. that shot come? Oh, okay, protect me. Yeah. And yep. so we thought, hey, the best way to get Sneeve off of our back would be to tell him, like, hey, we know where one of your people is in exchange for you not um, attacking when Shadow does. We'll tell you where your missing comrade is. Right before I messaged you that second letter, we had Welcome In go over and scout what was amassing at their base. Kipley, Shadow, they were all there. Everyone was there. Meaning that they let Kipley loose. And so Sneeve and I saw Sneeve, Grady, and Kipley in those cells. After Weapon Knight got, uh, after Weapon Knight and I got escorted down there as a little a little trap now sean let us go without doing anything i think he was trying to ingratiate us but he's like okay. we have sneeve captured because we took one of his people and now well, yeah. we're gonna now we're gonna have shadow have... come and then we're gonna have ryan kill shadow think, or something like that do you think this is a big bruise because he said me that they oh have it was an excellent right wonderful it is a wonderful piece of theater from here we coordinated strategy ryan and i finally able to talk in person we were able to get back and forth sharing and cross-checking information what we knew from every different interaction we'd had with the central kings we also talked battle strategy and they showed me what they had prepared and it was a doozy 
hit the oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we have one lever to hit the I'm not going in that room, I'm sorry. <laughs> Heck <laughs> no. Hey, at least stay nearby so we can talk. Well, I mean, yeah, we are down here. Do come up. Yeah, no, we Imagine have... Lagundo just flicks the lever while we're down here. Maybe I should back up too. <laughs> uh, well, I'm down here, so I'm your insurance. <laughs> oh, okay, so, yeah. Lagundo, I'm worthwhile. HP, I'm sorry, but that's a worthwhile trade. <laughs> you know what? That's fair. <laughs> to be honest. One for five, that's a fair argument. <laughs> Either they're teamed, either they're teamed and he has his resources, or they're not teamed and he's about to get his resources. At the end of the day, you lose nothing. Well, I understand, but think about the calculus regardless of that information. Either they're teamed and he has access to Shadow's resources, or they're not teamed and he's about to get access to Shadow's resources. The end state is the same. Alright, here we go. Well, in that case, feel free to execute him. If you do not, I will know where you stand. Uh, no, even better, Ryan. Just send him two words. D three. Fine. Game on. Bugaboo. Do oh. No, fine. Do it. That's it. That's all you send him. All right. With a defiant message sent and a battle plan in place, the north down here in the south, the furthest from home we'd ever be, we sat and we waited. Yeah, Rookie, we're getting over here so we're out of sight in case they arrive, because we don't want to tip our hand. What's our code word for bugging out? Bugaboo? No, that's too obvious. <laughs> it says bug! Cool it. Cool it's it. cool it, like... Yeah, if I say okay. cool it and I don't like the look of it, we bug out. This just doesn't feel right to be in here. What do you mean, why? Like, there's only one way forward and that's just straight onto that wall and we waited and we waited 10 minutes went by 20 30 almost 45 minutes and the isolation the calm the anxious the anxiety was starting to get to us we just started snapping selfies this seems like a really good opportunity for a screenshot guys it is oh yeah let's do it it's my a good thumbnail picture, okay? I'm continuously trying to peek around the corners over the mountains behind the castle in case a sneaky attack was being done or down the desert in case they were just going to storm in the front door. And after about an hour of waiting, we finally saw the army that was marching our way. Robert. Yeah, I'm back. What are you doing here, Robert? Oh, Robert. Hey, why are you people shooting at us? Tell Matthias to stop shooting me. Do it, you coward. He's at his base, by the way. Now, how about, oh, I, no. how about I send two of my people? Could you guys, do you guys think you could 2 be 10 Alright, I, I think that's an even fight. Yeah. There we go! go oh go. my god, yeah. uh, Let's go! Stop, 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 stop. Oh, no. Stop. Stop. We're going in. Robert, get inside no the more shooting. Ready? We're going. Robert's on our Fighting team. or... Fighting? <coughs> I want Grady. Bring it. Get, get the What's up, buddy? Up. Need back up. Legs up. Come up. Lagundo's here. Where, 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 where? Where he's right there. Lagundo. Where's Sneath? I hit Get him, get him. Get him. I want this kill. Come here, Sneath. Let's go. Um, why did my... Nice job, Rofo. Stop, 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 stop. We killed, we killed Sneath. We killed Sneath. Sneath's, anyone who's on Sneath's team is on our team now. Grady, you answered to King Snobbert. You answer to us now. Uh, Rofo! Rofo! You stole my kill, but yo. still Rofo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> who are we fighting? Who's it? Who is it? Rofo? No, what? what no. Are, is, is everyone I was now? the one that dealt the most damage, but Rofo got the final kill. Is that seriously it? Yeah. Is everyone... Let's yeah, go! Yeah, we killed. Let's, Let's go! go. Yeah. Yeah. 
Fair enough. Solid play. Solid play. Ryan. Ryan. Right. Ryan. Let's go. Let's head back inside, okay? Let's go. Okay, let's Ryan. go inside and figure this out. Ryan, I don't like you running at me like that, Ryan. No, no, no. We're good. I'm not, I'm not going to kill you, bro. Let's go. Let's get inside. Let's get inside and discuss how we want this to go down. I think I have a clear solution. I take my people, you take yours, and well, I'll see you in two days. Oh. We want to wait the whole two days? Just looting? Don't mind me. Good call. Matthias died in the... Yeah, he died. That's unfortunate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back away from my kills. <laughs> that was... I do not accept. Yeah, I've lost my king as well. Grady! Grady come sadly. on, Grady! Grady. Hey. Grady, oh you gosh. sadly have no choice but to accept currently. Okay, now this is a point where I need to pause. In fact, we all paused because so much had happened. We had just reshaped the game that we all needed to just stop for a second and figure out what had just gone on. Rofo had killed Sneeve, meaning we had conquered his kingdom. He now answered to me. Ryan and his trap had killed Sean, meaning Sean's kingdom now answered to Ryan. Shadow was in the wind and somehow had escaped everything and was the spoiler candidate as two large empires now faced off against each other. There was also some issues with some players not fully following the rules that we needed to resolve and just get everybody onto the same page. But once everything was sorted, the dust had settled, everything was said and done, my kingdom had just doubled in size and we were gonna use that to our advantage. I said goodbye to my former ally, now the only thing standing between me and the Iron Throne, grabbed my crew and started heading home. Oh, it's one of the I'm holding the door. Oh, oh should we shatter. get you this stuff? I think it might be looted already. Uh, uh, my, my, my yeah, it's already here. been looted. Where it? Where it? I, I can ah. confirm it has been uh, looted. Sneef, 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 sneef. Sneef. She'll be right, man. She'll be right. Here, uh, quickly. I'm going to give you... You need a shield. Uh, items over here, too. Shin. Here, take the pots. Take the pots. I'm not taking out a longbow. Hey, maybe we should, like, wait until morning. Uh... By the way. You gonna hang it up? Yes, I am back there. There's six of us, right? Yeah, because Rofa because logged out, Because I may not have so. killed him, but it's mine now, and that's what counts. Me and Rofa got it combined. Five demons are so annoying, bro! <laughs> they are the worst. Sky bats are very annoying. I like my armor's gonna break. I'm gonna have to, like... Oh, we got mending. We can get you set up. For the long boat ride back to the northern lands, we caught up. We figured out what was going on. I found out that Sneev wasn't part of that theater act, that it wasn't an act at all. That was genuinely Sneev captured, and they struck an alliance only after I had left, and with no intent of betraying me whatsoever. And I believed him now, because now he was one of my subjects. He had no reason to tell me a lie any further. And as we returned to the north, we formalized that new alliance. Wow, you guys have been hot going hard. We don't have a roof on yet. Quite a bit. Hello. Hello. We have quite a bit, and we can get you set up, and we can get like gear back for you and everything. Uh, Sneev, I do require that chest plate back. Hey. Here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's my that's my trophy of my. Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad everyone's body. using the uh, the armor. Here you go. Yeah. It's so good. So thematic. Oh, the only thing is that one might. Yeah, that already yeah, has the blue on it. Which is. On it. This is soiled. Oh dear. Yeah. No, you oh, gotta wear no, it. That's no, the one fine. rule. That's the one rule. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody else can still be in unicorns. You gotta wear the blue. Uh. <laughs> all right. Um. But yeah, we can get y'all set up. Uh. I think you all gave them the tour, right? Like. Uh, I gave Kipley the tour. We had a whole big feast. We took it. Ooh. South. <laughs> Wait, did you did you send me the sushi? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was you. I couldn't. I didn't know if it was you or sure. I was out. I was out of bookcases. I was out of books to send a message, because we only have two chickens left, and they uh, they won't like. We weren't really good at making more chickens. So yeah, when you sent me uh, steak and potatoes, I figured I'm like I should send food back. So I sent you sushi. <laughs> I take my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can leave the. Please leave it on. Please leave it on safety for YouTube. We got to keep this YouTube safe. Pants off. That right. is. That is exactly Dude, where I'm no, starting hold on, this scene. Hold on, no, no. Put the boots on. Put the boots on and go in F5. Look at your backside. 
<laughs> oh god, they're chapless pants. <laughs> Wait, they are? Oh, they are! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, That's oh, even god. better! That is. Lord oh, Sneeve approached the throne. <laughs> Uh, this is going in the blue for real. No, yeah, this is going in the main that's video. That's what oh, are you talking enough. about? No, 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 you're right. That that is how you pay tribute to the, the king royal of the north. Spanking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I have good news and I have bad news for you, Sneeve. <clears throat> the bad news is you died, which means your kingdom belongs to my kingdom now. Yes. The good news is that really doesn't change much, except now there's no take backsies on us being allies. Which is fine. I didn't plan on betraying you, Lugundo. Yeah, really so didn't. that's good. No, that's good. I, I I fully believe you, except I caught you in a cell and then out of the cell later. But you could tell me more about that later, because I so want to know what happened there. Oh, yes. Yes, that, that whole ordeal was uh, nothing to do with you. I understand your, your trepidation <laughs> considering uh, previous <laughs> events, but... Uh... <laughs> Uh, yes, that was that was not a trap for Lagunda. It was a trap for someone else. Realistically, yes. I'm not asking you to strike your banners or anything else like that. You mm -hmm. are still the unicorn king, as far as I'm concerned, and I'd like you to finish your castle. The only thing is, I, uh, when the we, final we day comes, the, we are the we are the Geraldine community. Hang on, I want, I want to I want to get the banner. Oh, do I need to make a? <laughs> no. This is this is Geraldine. She is the uh, oh he sorry. I, I I love it and it's amazing. Classic. So yes. no, you don't have to strike your banners because Geraldine is adorable, right? Mm -hmm. And I want I'd like you to finish your castle. The only thing is at the end of this, right? The best you'll get is sitting next to the throne. Oh, oh you do have to put on the chest plate that I gave you though. Oh yep. Dope. <laughs> That's it. You. That's all we need. I appreciate you. Can't say that on time. Twitch, but luckily we're on YouTube now. Woo! Yo! Let's go. Well, let's let's get you set up with enchants and everything else, so that way we can have everything and you're all set up. I figure that's Sounds only good. fair. And yes. uh, we 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 can smash the other the other bro broskies. Oh yeah. no! So at this point, like we might have been allied with the Red King, but at this point, there's he's the only thing between me and the Iron Throne. Mm -hmm. And I don't like having things between me and the Iron Throne anymore, so to we're me. going to devastate them. I need yep. to know what's going on in that milky little brain of yours. <laughs> yeah, oh no. Oh god, no, I don't want to know that! 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 No, 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 no. Okay, so, no, you're fine. Um, battle tactics later, and, uh, we'll figure out the rest. Okay, okay. All right, you you can you can go. Thank you, thank you, Sneeve. Talk to you All later. Right. All right. Okay. King, bye. King, king. Hi, King Lugundo. Can I still be a king? You can still I'll, be a king. I'll I'll be I'll be the short king. Yes, uh, you'll be a king. Short, short kings short rise king. up. Yeah, exactly right. I got you covered, buddy. So yeah, you're still King Sneeve. Uh, we are the principality of egocentric nationalists and inquisitors. Did Jammer come I up with that one too? I was spelling that. <laughs> No, I no, I came up with that one. I, I it was one of the two of you. That's all I knew for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. All right. I guess I'm because I'm walking home alone then. No, yeah, we'll figure that out later. Bye. Bye. I wasn't kidding. This day reshaped the entire server. It rewrote the rules of the game and it set it as two major empires facing off. With the combined power of Sneeve's kingdom and my own we outnumbered the Southerners almost two to one, meaning that if we played our cards right and were smart, the Iron Throne would be mine. And we were just a few days away from making that a reality. But this is not the end of that story. Logging in the next day, fresh off the heels of a war that had reshaped the entire server, it was barely two minutes in when the game changed again. Uh, oh! Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh! What a time to log in! Um, oh. You should read your mail, by the way. Bye. Oh no. What Dates. did Ryan log into? So what? Blue, pink versus purple now? I think it's blue versus purple, because you keep what you kill. That's crazy. Oh. That's so Shadow crazy. just became the king of the south. He pulled off something I was not expecting.
Ryan was what? Quite a few hours ago. Um, Consider it done. Them. Meet me outside his base tomorrow. We'll do it then. Who sent this? It was there when Ryan. I'm up. I'm tempted to say that that was Shadow. Actually, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing with here. Never mind. Ignore me. Because I've been on for a while. I don't know. I don't know who that's from and from when. So this changes things pretty immensely. I haven't interacted with Shadow at all, except for being on Ryan's side at the war that happened down in the desert. I don't think we'd send a single message to each other. So any good graces or any sort of alliance leftovers, in a sense, that I had with Ryan to get towards the final fight with some honor were all out the window. Reeling from that change in the game, I reset with everybody who was on the server and figured out what had happened. They had sailed south earlier in the day. The castle was pretty much done with the massive stone tower at the back being constructed, getting kangaroos, which you can actually outfit with weapons and armor. And our supplies and riches were looking very kingly. Things were looking good. My first order of business was finishing all of the negotiations and politics with the other kingdom. Sneev and I had finished and formalized our alliance, but I still needed to win the hearts and minds of his people if we were going to go into this a unified force and win. And now, with a new enemy on the other side of the battlefield, that was more important than ever before. I sent Sneev a message trying to get coordinates and started collecting different food that I could take as a sort of peace offering. The people who were now my subjects by proxy. Heck yes. This is, uh, I've even this got is my weapon I got yesterday. Ooh. Twice. Well, let me go quickly enchant myself. The only thing I need is level One right tap now, wonder. Sharp oh, yeah, that's four, the, the... sweeping edge. Not bad. But that's the sword There's... I looted off someone and I gave to Robo. I think that's off a welcome in. Oh. What is that? It's put to good use. Kind of nice to ceremonially give that to somebody else and make you a different weapon, Rofa. I have a different one I can give you instead. I just need to put Sharp 4 on it. It's the exact same thing as that. I'll put Sharp 5 on it now. With the Sword of Welcoming, who I had found out was quite the troublemaker in this scenario, I thought this could be a symbolic gesture to garner peace with the new king of the south and buy us some time to get towards the actual final battle. I didn't want to lose anybody else and risk our tactical and sword advantage before it actually counted. Sending out a missive and the blade that had started the war on this server, I received back a book with the coordinates of my second kingdom. Book and quill? Hey, boo, my digits. <laughs> All right, cool. We know where we're going. Someone here wants, uh, uh, I, I, I'm fairly sure they have villagers. Can you ask if we can get a few? No, uh, never mind. I, I, mean, I want to ask for a few. might have let little. them all free. <laughs> all right, I'll have to, it'll take me a while then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have like, we have like. <laughs> and with the coordinates in hand, it was time to run across the continent and connect with my second kingdom and my new subjects. I took Rookie with me so we wouldn't have a massive force and wouldn't be viewed as invaders or conquerors, but instead potentially allies, and traveled for more than a full Minecraft day. Again, this map is massive and it's such a faithful recreation of westeros but as we crested the hill we found our destination all right at least i see a starter base oh there's the castle where'd you go from there oh it's up. why is this so confusing <laughs> <coughs> these are not up to code these are not poopa approved Let's just <gasps> wait. Legs, legs, look, look, what? look, look. <gasps> I, I have a lead. I have a lead. Wait. Where do we get in? Where are you? Where are you? I'm standing outside the wall on Brock's oh. side. I'm by Brock. I, 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 I see you. I see you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> just. Hello, there King Sir. Hi. How, how, can um, we get Rookie too? Yeah. Oh, oh, we have new okay. stairs. Yes. There's new <laughs> stairs. Rookie, we were on the Hello. old stairs. Easy ah. to run. <laughs> so, Devon, are you going to help me I, find yes. the crows? And we will explain to Lagundo the value of the crows. Take Hello. Seat, Hello. Welcome in, I'm, our king. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit in the royal simp chair. Wait, what? Did you build one down over here as well? Yes. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh. wonderful. Yeah, your, 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 your flag's at the top. 
Woo! So okay. The, we, we had this pretty much the same setup at Lagundo. So the, this Chicken was sandwich. For me, but uh, yes. Here, you get. <laughs> oh, thank you very shepherd's much. Pie, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's oh, pie. Thank you. I, Sneev, you want a kebab or pasta? Uh, I threw it over your head. Ooh, I, 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 I'll never. Oh, I could, I could do with a beer and some Thank Turkish you. for sure. Give me a kebab. Kebab. So, yeah, uh, we killed Sneev. So now <laughs> we're allied through forced marriage. So it yes. all works out pretty wonderfully. Uh, Wait, who's getting married? Me and Sneev. Couple. That's <laughs> wonderful. Very Congratulations, you guys. Oh, Congratulations. Wonderful. Yep, I'm sure the gonna YouTube comments are going to be fun. But yes. They're going to love it. <laughs> so, uh, real. Sh the short version is realistically nothing changes. All hail D's. All hail Geraldine. Prage, Prage D's. Is Prage the D's. Sorry, yes. Prage D's. Uh, yeah, all hail Geraldine. We got it. You all got this covered, right? Mm. And we got to lock down this amazing castle. It looks wonderful. In short, all this means is that at the end of the day. Sneeve cannot sit on the Iron Throne, yep. but we've made a deal. If we win, and now we kill Shadow, because that has to happen now, yep. because that just happened. If we kill Shadow and we end up on the throne, I offer you all independence. Yes. You get your own nation. You get to have the short king right yep. over here. And he's, yes. he's in charge of all of your lands, and you all can operate as if nothing happened. That's wonderful. Yes. All we have to do Excellent. is eliminate the unicorns now? Yes, yes, the, the power of friendship and magic must be destroyed. The first order of business was seeing how our kingdoms stacked up, where we had the advantage over the south, and where we had resources that we could share and accelerate each other even further. The battle kangaroo tactic was very strong and actually originated from down here. Rugi had gone south with some of Sneeve's kingdom, which was a great empire building activity it definitely seems like it was the right call we're not the yeah, brightest of kingdoms so. yeah, there's a reason there's a reason we've been overtaken no <laughs> just a sword we to have, the face is fine we have, it was two warhammers but yes yeah um we, yeah rofo uh, we, rofo did some damage yeah yeah I, I i was chunked pretty hard i'm not gonna lie <laughs> I, I i i got i got i got tunneled by uh two people at once so I, I, yeah. I shielded one, and then the other one took out half my health from behind with a worm. <laughs> yeah. The literally, we're like, we're. I've learned more about that battle, and I might have oh, chosen yeah. my previous allies poorly, and for that I do apologize. But now we oh. will obliterate them. With the past now behind us, and our alliance clear and solidified from top to bottom, it was time to speak with their master of war and figure out battle plans. I like the name. Yeah. <laughs> I, di I didn't get I didn't get the kill with it. I would have been so oh, much better. Sad days. Yeah, but it still works. And then I thought of this after the battle, which is un unfortunate. But um, <laughs> uh, because the helmet like completely like your guys' skins would be completely covered, these little crows then they can't target you as much because your name will literally be covered. Oh, that's a good play. Yes, the only sad thing is that uh, they're very annoying. Crows could definitely hide my name, and with my death being the most direct route to Shadow's victory, that was the thing we needed to be most careful of. They could end this entire scenario with one sneaky kill. And with our empires so far apart from each other, any sort of attack, it would be almost impossible to back each other up. So I made a plan. I actually had a thought that might make this somewhat interesting. What about a nether corridor between our two bases? Okay. Is that yeah, allowed? Yep. I think now it is because we're allied, so it's not like you're using it to invade another person's yeah. base. Yeah, we're that, using that, it that, for that, easy that. transport. Our port yeah, portal is not in the walls, so we yeah, need to it's kinda, open a new one. You'd, you'd be bridging with ours. Yeah, we, we can pick a spot now, though. Switch it up yeah. here. So from there, I headed outside, continuing to catch up and trade notes with my new ally, figure out how the scenario had gone for them, and sent a message back home to Rofo to get the coordinates of our portal in the nether. Then engaged what some would call cultural mingling. Oh god, a, a, a three-way twerking <laughs> with the High King, good god. Hey, if if we're meant to work together, we have to share culture. <laughs> work and... together. 
Exactly. <laughs> we have to share culture and, and unify, so I'm yes. here for it. With a portal constructed in the Church of Dees, myself and Mongo headed off to the Nether, starting to figure out where we needed to go, bridging across and building a nice little safe spot on this end so that the portal would be safe to traverse through. From there, we dug a relatively straight tunnel, almost bang on from one portal to the other. Nope. Oh, we got a tunnel. Yeah. Ah, there's the stream sniper. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong guy. Wait, yeah, just... Chief died. No. Oh. How'd that Chief happen? Chief ran out of uh, mosquitoes, and, mosquitoes and hoglins. And he's built into the wall. He's built into like the wall a true, forever. A true hero. Wait, he got mm. killed by mosquitoes? The hoglins did the most damage. The mosquitoes oh. just freaked him out. That sucks. Oh, has anyone got a morsel of food? Oh, you monster! Here, veggie noodles. <laughs> you did not. You, okay, you only did a couple blocks. And with a proper quick line of transportation and good spirits between our kingdoms established, we returned back to Sneeve's land where Looney was waiting. Yo! To our kingdom. Hey, guys. Kill, kill the cattle rustler. Hello, hello. Hello, oh, Looney. royal Sneeveness. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome. Wait, I just realized. I don't have a crown. Why? <laughs> oh, turn you your helmet level. Turn your helmet layer back on. I never yeah, had there. one this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god. Oh, I just noticed my crown was off too. Hang on, I, I can't. <laughs> yep, yep. I thought you knew Diamond too. No. So we've caught up a little bit, Looney, and, and everybody else can probably fill you in. Short version. We have a nether, we have a nether tunnel. Mm -hmm. connecting our kingdoms now. Okay. Sneeve and I are formally allied through marriage, and we're going to stomp on so the purples. You guys look so happy and so great together. It is, yeah. it is my yeah. true pleasure yeah. to witness this. Do look yeah. Happy. He makes Yay. Oh, and you missed it. Oh, and by the way, uh, Shadow killed Ryan, so no Shadow's in charge of all of the southern kingdoms, and it's probably Ooh. coming to end us all. I want to see oh. so bad. I want to see I like that. I like yeah. that. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be it's a nice be fight. I've sent him. I've sent him mail. We'll see whether or not he responds. But I, I proposed peace until the final battle. So Looney, good to catch up with you. It felt so bad. In short, your mission has not really changed. Simply the targets. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I go in the front door and I um. Cause the mischief. Yeah. And now you have okay. Kipley. That's what yeah. you got, Looney. You touch our sheep again. <laughs> I, I, wait, I what? what? You made us cry. Which which sheep? I don't know what you're talking about. Sheep. <laughs> There's no sheep there at all. There's no trace of any sheep of any kind yes. ever. They appear to have been abducted by something or someone. Uh -huh. I think yep. they moved to warmer climate. He <laughs> says as he's them? holding it's mutton. It's raining here all the time. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been eating that all evidence? of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fairly sure that I'm fairly sure that that piece of mutton has a has a price tag on it that came it's from. Got this, a, it's this got a barcode. Um, yeah, yeah, busted, busted. It I, looks I admit, blue. I admit, it came from around these parts. <laughs> Thankfully, everybody took our previous shenanigans and pranking of each other in good spirits and. Being able to be unified in a common goal definitely helps. Everybody was working on positive intent and in being able to share stories and tease each other about some of the encounters that we had had definitely helped. But while the chefs conversed and we started trading books, magic, and resources, I needed to get off for a second. So I had a quick conversation with the king. Dip for like an hour and a half and yep. go have dinner, spend time with kids and everything. Anything that's at the north that's useful, like uh, emeralds, all of like raw materials, yeah, we could harvest all of it. Like that nether tunnel's super safe. Yeah. Um, my people, my people can help show everybody around so they can get everything. Okay. We can literally get us all like kitted out with the last little bit that we need tonight, and like just ferry stuff back and forth that we need. And when I logged back in about two hours later, I. Entered in at a slightly strange time where villagers were being mass produced to attempt to create saddles. I had instructed my people to forward any mail over to this mailbox and something was waiting for me. Here, let's check something. To the king of the north, I accept this time of peace. I'm sure both of our armies deserve a time of rest. See you on the battlefield. Love the king in the south. I've got, I've got this meme going that like, uh, so gradually over, over the course of... Um Gradually over the course of the uh, period, 
I've been kind of steadily increasing the pitch of saying I am the king. So on the first day, <laughs> it was kind of like, I am the, I am the king. And, and, and now we're up to like, I'm the king. And oh, it's got to be faster every time. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Um, I have several stacks of leather back at my base. So I can go get oh. some. Oh, uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'll, I'll run over, get some, check with my peoples. Yeah. Is there any other raw materials we need or stuff from... Just stuff to trade with the villagers, like, um, I don't know, like iron and leather and paper. Uh, oh, yeah, we can we get can, all that. And then I can, can I trade, everybody can up Can I trade saddles. out some gold? Um, yep. Okay, cool. I grabbed a little bit of gold from this chest because we can cure another one of our villagers and get our Sweet. emerald production higher. With peace brokered until the final battle, my kingdom can solely focus on resources and finishing construction on all of our structures. I returned back through the nether tunnel, returning into the northern kingdom to find a new tunnel had been constructed between the windmill and the castle, as a sneaky entrance, but mainly as an escape tunnel if necessary. There I did a little bit of harvesting of all of our pumpkins and amazing orange tubes, heading down to the villagers and trading those in for money, because that's what I want. Here I started working with the cartographers and librarians again, getting another positive emerald loop so we could generate more than enough excess funds for not only ourselves, but for our allies. I was constantly mailing emeralds to Sneeve's mailbox and told Jamie before I had left to keep an eye on there for any resources which would be sent that she could use to potentially get us harming arrows. Multiple cure cycles at this point, I'm basically printing money, as all good kings do. A oh they trade for one. You got one, nice. I got one. This one is five. They're going back down. We are economically set for life. This is wonderful. As we're starting to wind down in the construction of the castle itself, I want to make sure it's filled with the spoils and the fruits of our labor. So I started stacking up redstone, gold, making a secondary enchanting station down in the basement while I was doing this so I could do level 30 enchants from all of my trading with the villagers. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Fortune 3 on a pickaxe was not bad at all, but it took several rolls to get something useful on these diamond pants. And trading only worked so well, so I did have to go down into the mines for a little while, mining up redstone and any diamonds that I found, now with Fortune getting quite a bit more back from that. And doing these chill mining sessions, not having to worry about a potential attack and just having a podcast on, is one of my favorite things to do in some of these scenarios. The calm before the storm, in a sense. We know it's going to be an all-out knock-down, drag-out battle when it comes to the final fight for this throne. And we want to have every trick in the book available to us to make that happen. So I'm still hunting for pearls and gunpowder, a task that I've done almost every in-game night that I've been on the server to make sure that we can have those forbidden things that would give us a tactical advantage in the final battle. From there I stacked up the gold and my citizens had followed suit making a diamond chandelier. Oh, you put some torches on the top some to make it lighter. Beams. Yeah. I like to yeah, use so, Oh, some support beams across, yeah. And we're focusing on making this castle fit for a king with piles of resources and eliminating some passing raiders that happen to attack outside. I made some tough boulders just to add some different geometry to the area and created a snowman, which allowed us to create infinite snow layers so I could go out and repair the ground outside. Oh my god, I just found out the most hilarious thing. What? If you have a rotten tomato, you can throw it at things. That's amazing. Only a rotten one, though. That's amazing. Fruit-based weaponry aside, I was just putting down all the snow layers, making sure this place looked in tip-top shape when I'm pretty sure you all get the world download. I'm just not 100% certain as to how. This looks, yeah, that looks way better with the chandelier, the torches, and everything else. Our castle is finally looking like something fit for Westeros. And with only one day left in this scenario, the final twists and turns before we met on the battlefield and would fight for the Iron Throne? Well, that was something that I wasn't expecting. It's the final day of the scenario. We will be fighting for the throne today. 
and only one king will be left standing. It's time for final preparations, final construction, and the final twists and turns that I was not prepared for. As I logged in, things popped off immediately. Legs, 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 legs. I think we should show him first. Hi. We should show him, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot no, happened, I, I and it was just, just me joined. to deal with it. Just joined, so here, come here, we have to show you. So, um, I was working on just, I did some enchanting, and then I was gonna work on building a tower on the very end of the, the, like, little peninsula we have over here. Yeah. Um, and then as we were doing that, Fortune and Robert decided to show up. Okay. And so, uh, they, I can't remember what they said specifically, but then they, he said he threw bones in the water, and he said, that's where you're going to be next. And I'm like, you know what? Those bones might have a message on it. So I jumped in for the bones, said it was a ruse. They were coming for the <coughs> kingdom, and I was put in a scenario where I had to have at least 2v1. And um, they, right before I was at half a heart, uh, Forge said, drop your weapons. And that worked out really well, because I grabbed my pearl as fast as I could, pearled into the kingdom on half a heart. And right as I was about to drop my weapons, I pearled right back into the kingdom. And I'm so surprised I didn't die to pearl damage. And then you should see this part. And then after that, because I said I, I could easily 2v1 them, they decided to blow up the wall right here and where that chest is. And, and you killed Robert? I killed Robert. My mans! <laughs> Heck yes! The Knight's Bane worked wonders. Yes! I also, oh. funny, thing, funny thing is, Robert wasn't even recording. Oh, Robert's never recorded. <laughs> so I have to set Oh my god! Oh, weapon! Sir Weapon, the, the Robert Slayer. Yes! Funny thing, is, funny thing is, I have to mention, I have to show you in person about this one because it, it, it makes me laugh every single time. So after I killed Robert and Ford, I Ford just sort of heard him say, No, Robert! And then he ran. Yeah. Funny thing is, he ran and tried to get into this boat. It was actually facing this direction. So when I came over here to look, it was, the <laughs> boat was half in the dock here. <laughs> and then he said, screw it, and ran off. That's wonderful news. That's one fewer on their team. Yeah. And then, because also, they did actually take one of our boats, and they ran off that direction. That's so fine. After this, we have after more this ships. ran over, I used my trident and went over there, and I found their boat. So I just took their boat. Nice! Okay, we gotta get that set up with the proper livery. With another good soldier of the Southern Kingdom destroyed, I don't know why Sean and the others, or, or Shadow and the others, would risk attacking us at this point. We were hours away from the battle for the throne. Why throw away someone's life now when you can save them and throw them away in the final battle? As we finished on final orders and picking through the spoils from Robert's corpse, Things were looking up, and I was feeling really good about our chances in the final war. So much so, that I was already ready to celebrate. Yeah, 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 no, absolutely. We should set some of that out on the table, and then today, uh, right around the time that all, the, all of Sneeve's kingdom is online, we should invite them over here for a feast. We can yeah. give them a proper update on Robert's slay. I did, I did send a note over there, and I think only Brock was the only one online, so they do have a note of what I did. Still. Like we should, we should have a good conversation on camera for that. That's huge. Good job. I'm surprised they came to attack. We, I thought we had. The thing peace. is, I think from what I heard from some of them is that they were just bored. Well, it's Sean. I fully ex accept that that was not sanctioned by the Southern King. Shadow would not yeah. have approved that fight, which just tells me he has little control over his army in the first place. Uh -huh. I mean, he's a king through conquest. He's led. He's in charge by blood. That is true. We're in charge by true loyalty, and that is so much stronger. But we did kill Sneeve, so. Yeah, but there. But his people are loyal to him, and me and Sneeve are married, so now everything's fine. When I reconnected just a little bit later, I wasn't the only one. Battle oh, Rouge. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they look that amazing. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. Kipley and HP had been busy arming not only our soldiers themselves, but their pets as well. 
We had kangaroos in full max armor with netherite weapons. We had wolves with dog food that would make them strong and harder to kill for minutes at a time. We had a ton of TNT sitting in the chests, ready to blow our opponents to smithereens. And all of that power had potentially gone to our heads. The fact that we mounted Rodney's head right next to Rodney next to feels him. a little disrespectful. The fact that he's like constantly staring at him. Yeah, at hold, hold on. It's actually not Rodney's head. Now it is. is oh yeah, Rookie's kitchen. There you rookie, go. Yeah. There you go, Rodney. Now you can. Yeah, now now you can look at it. <laughs> they did so well with us. Oh, Rookie got Max Lottel? I'm so happy with how our castle came together. It's it's, it's smaller than everybody else's, but I don't know. It, it, it's good. It it's feels nice. Offerings for the beloved king. Oh, this is cool. We got to try it? Yeah. <gasps> Do we have loyalty? Is what? How is there Death Strider on a pickaxe? Sean. That came from Sean. I think, yeah, my, my e-chest is exclusively male. <laughs> yeah. I respect hmm. it. Hmm. <laughs> the content play. Feasting bowls. Do we have any mail? Nope. As we waited for everybody to gather and to prepare for the final fight, again, another round of strategy, and just making sure we were all clear on what our objectives needed to be. We have twice the person power that they do. <laughs> Okay, but all they have to do is kill you. Yeah, that is the tricky part. We need to do be careful with that. Do you have any plans that. to like dodge that? Have you gotten a crow yet? Uh, I do not have a crow. I have a stack. I have like nine pearls. I got speed potions, strength potions. My armor's maxed. I have thorns on everything, so them hitting me would be scary. And if I bought people at all, they get set on fire. So I if mean, I, if I feel like. <clears throat> the only thing I'm really missing is punch on my bow to give me some some range. Um, I just have a constant invis potion too, so they can't see yeah. so easily. Ah, oh yeah, true. Worse. The in the invis would work. Yeah, it wouldn't hide my uh, armor, but it would hide my name, so that would yeah. still be good. Yeah, I have everything. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh hey hey. Uh, Shoot, I have two. There's two blaze powder in here. We I'm need sorry. one nether wart. Yeah. Is there anything in the chest? Of, why would no. they take the nether wart? I don't. Well, they took all the potions. They took all the potions and the potion supplies. Yeah, they did. Oh, is there any at um, Kipley? Would there be anything over it at the yes. at Kingdom of Geraldine? Yes. yes. I'm about to take my kangaroo with me too, so. You Come with yeah, why not? Again? Yeah, we can pop over, say hi. With Looney potentially having taken all of our potion making supplies to a forward operating base that he had constructed a little bit closer to the final battle fight, a rally point for us all to be able to get together on, myself and Kipley headed back through the tunnel, returning to Sneeve's kingdom, just looking to coordinate on the last little bit of resources. Hello! Chuck a ball on. Okay. Y'all have, po Yo, have drugs? Man. Where's Wait, that's a personal said, question. Young man. I thought you just killed the goon dog, Keepley. Whoa. Plot twist. Yeah. Plot twist. I, I just saw him burning alive for a second. Who is spawning Wait, the raccoons? Who's spawning raccoons? Robert. Know, Robert. A whale, a whale Hi, Robert. spawned here earlier. Hey. Well. What's up? We have sadly been I'm visited just uh, by beyond the, the realms right now. <laughs> All I can do now is spawn <laughs> raccoons and occasionally a whale. What happened to the map? <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just CCTV up here. Don't worry about me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's not what camera. It's the oldie security okay. camera. <laughs> so Mongo, let's uh, let's I'm hear going one of your, the letters fam your now. famous. Let's hear one of Mo Mongo. Let's hear one of your famous uh, bard ballads. Young man, there's no <laughs> need to feel down. I said, young man, <laughs> pick yourself off the ground. What's next? Young man. Cause you're so in a new town, there's no need <laughs> to feel unhappy. Bum, 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 bum. Grady, get over there. Anything for you, my king. Hey, real quick, do y'all have a, a, a active uh, brewing stand? Yes. Like yep. with yes, so in, the, in the church of D's we do. Yep. In the okay, church cool. of D's. Did you, Praise D's. Yeah. Yeah, you Praise D's. Praise D's. D's. Do you like D's? Heck yeah. 
Heck yeah. He, he is your king, Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Also, okay. who gave the kangaroo a, a halo? You know what I like, buddy. That's Whoa. my kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're in the last couple hours before this thing would actually go down, so Robert sitting there as ye olde NSA was honestly just having a little bit of fun with friends. Hope you'll give us the break in the fourth wall slightly. Hey, y'all, uh, can we pop over? We built a feast over at the the Northern Kingdom. If y'all want to come over to grab a, a bunch of food and everything else, and like we have a, a whole set Ooh. recorded. Oh, yeah, so, we can, do that. can we go over and do that before before server yeah. ends? And one brief trip through the portal later, we were all at the Northlands for our final feast together. Some of these people would die, but that was a sacrifice I was ready to make to take the Iron Throne. We built this city. Wow. Do, 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 do. It's beautiful. We built this nice. city of meat and cheese. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. God. oh, no. oh. oh my God. <laughs> now everyone has it. Oh, it's got yeah, penicillin. We've got to deal with Grady somehow. What is that? Wait, why can't I sit in this? What the heck? Oh, we have sushi cutlery? somewhere. Because you're putting it on a cutting board instead of on the floor. Are you eating from the middle of the table? No, you gotta break open. break the cutting board. That's, no, you're you know, that's, that's, that's not it. You're getting rid of that that won't, that won't be it. That, no. He's so intelligent. Look at him over there. <laughs> just, Nobody does just, it quite like my king. Wow. <laughs> the only thing we needed to make sure about is that I didn't fall and that Shadow did. And we we're all gonna work together to make that happen. Don't forget your baby right. rattle, Sneef. <laughs> Sir, this is the Maraca of Peace. How dare you? <laughs> and with that, y'all, we've made it to the final battle. Give yourself a little round of applause. It's time to go crush the Dirty Southerners and, and win yeah. this thing. The Woo. Dirty Southerners. So last I heard, it was like 12 to 4. So <laughs> this is this is going to go pretty well. So we're Weapon, gonna have to I want to strategy. You. Uh, yeah, I want oh, I want yeah. a two teams A and B. <laughs> yeah, we no two teams team one and team A uh, yeah. to make yeah, sure right. that we have everything really great. Weapon, I want to congratulate you in slaying Robert at the last minute yesterday slay, evening. Queen, slay, good job. And wait, didn't didn't you also kill the other guy? Well, like made yeah, him kill he himself. Was, protagonist was blowing up our wall, so I hunted him down. Yeah, nice. Yeah, oh, so that. Shot. That definitely put the odds in our favor significantly. So, yeah. to our masters of war, I know you two have been putting in a lot of work to get us set up with a forward base. Do you want to tell everybody a little bit about that, and then we're ready to go for this fight? Um, it's fancy tower. It's got all the goodies. 230, 1440. See you there. <laughs> yeah. A man, a few words. Okay, okay. you're right. <laughs> Ten at, at All right, Lenny, time. could you uh, say that again, but faster? We got a nice yeah. little fast tower all up front. Got to go these 230, 40, 40 there. <laughs> nice. Okay. You got you gotta gotta get to the like I uh, we'll work our way up. And then go crush this kingdom. Yes. Yes. Let's go! Yes! Queen. I would also like to take this opportunity to declare war. Pasta. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Let <laughs> oh, the red wedding go over again. But yeah. just a reminder to the, the worshippers of Geraldine and the short king himself. If we win this, you all get your independence back. And you get yes. to be the short king in the, in the north. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Wait, uh, no, I don't want to be the short king if I get independence. I'm not going to choose that title. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was what you wanted. My short king. No. <laughs> Our short king. Our short king. Uh, you know what? Short Let's, king. Leave, it up. Let's leave it up to your people. The short, no. short king. Short king. No, no. My short king. With the baby rattle. Short king. What time? Order. Order. The this is no, no, it's not a baby rattle. <laughs> this is the maraca of pe. God damn it. If I die tomorrow from my chlamydia-ridden ways, Kipley will be my Why successor. Why I have to hear that? <laughs> will be the queen. Kipley will be the queen if I die. I mean, when I die, which will be tomorrow. Thank you. Our tall queen. Oh, no. Woohoo! Tall queen. Tall queen. Woo tall queen. Thank you, Steve. We'll try and save you. No dying from chlamydia, please. No, oh, it's it's gonna happen. It's gonna oh. happen. Oh, I see. Yeah, the chlamydia has ridden my brain. Brady really is that road. guy at a party, huh? Who just like shows Jesus. up and eats everything. I was gonna eat that. I'll take it for the road. Yeah, grab it take, for the road. And... Take the leftovers home. Let's go to war! <laughs> <laughs> to war! Yeah. Let's go! Oh, I need more food. Yeah.
or at least we would have. Sean was having some power and internet issues, so he wasn't able to actually stay connected to the server for more than like five minutes at a time. So we paused the game here and would reconvene just a few days later for the final battle and someone was going to sit on the Iron Throne. If everything goes according to plan, it's going to be me. It took us a few days in scheduling to figure out when we could actually do that final fight. A lot of people were only prepared for that week, so finding a day that all of us could be online was unfortunately kind of tricky, and we couldn't get everybody. So all the kings agreed that since some of us would be deeply down on the number of people who weren't available, we were able to bring back a few deceased teammates for the final fight to just have some semblance of the numbers that we had going into it. I resurrected Choof and briefed him along the way, getting whatever armor and weapons I could. We sailed south towards where we knew the final fight was, but I overshot and had to just park the ship at some point, committing to walking over land. Problem was, well, we were going to find a fight long before we found the battlefield. Oh, there's someone behind us. There's, there's Hinos. Hi. I saw you. The Poles king. Kill the king! Kill, Kill the, the king! king. Uh, run. Kill the king! Kill the king run. right now! Speed, speed potions. <laughs> Time to run. Uh, this is a problem. This is a problem. Okay, do you have pearls? You have those pearls? Are you do. ready to use them if necessary? Pearl over the water right here. Chief. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on. I only get lost every now and then. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe that this just happened! Okay. I heard like mumbling behind me. I'm like, hmm. Yeah. I think there's someone behind us. A warning would have been good. Thankfully, we were able to ditch Sean. Finding our way to the castle in which we would be fighting over the Iron Throne residing inside. And on the other side of that, our forward operating base where the battle was also raging. Raise your banners. What? Prepare for war. <laughs> Oh my god! Jeez, all sorts of things happened. Sean already took a swipe at, at me. <laughs> oh my god! Sean about time us. you guys showed up, Jesus! Oh my god! The, the all right. <laughs> oh my god! The Put RP. your helmet on. Potion, potion, potion. HP, HP, HP. Behind oh, you. There's potion. one dead. I, I'm oh. already potioned. You have a fire res. Everybody should have fire res. I'm saying potion of invisibility. Bro, where's <laughs> where's Steve? <laughs> We don't oh, know. Oh, oh, I... Run HP! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Gapple, 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 gapple. I'm behind you. Okay. One, two. That's my last fire res. I don't even know run! who this person is. No, that's friendly. Oh no, red. Red is bad. Red is bad. Red is bad. Get up! <laughs> Go in the water. Oh shoot, I think I shot your horse. In the water. Easy shots. I can't tell animal friend. Oh uh, yeah, can you like kindly not? Shooting. Kangaroo! No! Friend. What about kangaroos? Sorry, that was probably me. Uh, y'all, I need the some dogs. help with these dogs. <gasps> dogs in the water? I'm always good at killing dogs. I will infect help. the dogs with oh, chlamydia. Very, help! Very <laughs> help, Short What's King! Really Blinkies, not not ours, not ours. Bad dogs, my, bad doggies. My, my king. The dogs have chlamydia. Bad doggy, do not touch the dogs. With Shadow's forces initially pushed back, we regrouped. Without being able to communicate, without being able to use chat, there was a lot of chaos happening. We didn't know where everyone was, and we weren't coordinated as far as when we were meeting here. But that was all behind us. We were all here, and it was time to fight. We looted all of the chests that we had, getting all of the resources that we had prepared and transported earlier into our inventories to best stock us for this battle. At the end of the day, either Shadow or I would be sitting on the throne, and some of the people around me would be dead. Yeah, as okay. we were going, all of a sudden some arrows start hitting the ground, and all from behind me, all I hear is Sean going, Kill the king! So we had to oh burn God. our <laughs> speed potions. We burned our speed potions and all of our pearls. The castle was ours. Okay, oh, so wow. I have a bit of a plan. People with horses go to the left, we act as a flanking uh, a brigade, and then come in the heavier artillery. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's all well, they deserve. Let's, let's, oh, oh so never mind. I have 24 TNT. I will put you Who wants them? Me? <laughs> I will put some, half of it in this chest right here. Um, Bottom yeah. chest. TNT and a flint and steel. There's 46 yeah, of it. Get it. My horse go. Chief, you're not allowed to switch teams. I, I'm not just, you know, 
economically looking at my choices. <laughs> <laughs> As the sun rose and Forge and Shadow's team tried to threaten us with words on the wind, I responded back in kind. The North would not bow. We would not bend the knee. And we were taking this castle. All right, everybody group up. together, splash fire res. We're running around this lake and we're going and storming this castle. Okay. okay. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Right. Are we all over here? Yeah, the, the, one the, the, the one with the cape. I'm the one with the cape. I'm the one with the cape. So many people with capes. Oh, The one with the green cape. Chucker. Chucker. Right, 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 right in front of you, HP. Chuck it. Chuck it, Robin. Go. Okay. Robin, go. Go. Let's go. Got it. go. I'm pretty sure this is where they filmed Monty Python, the final scene. Wait, don't don't spread out too far. Loose arrows. Stay together, but. Wait, is that a kangaroo? That's gonna be a, I don't think we can hit them up there. I don't know if our arrows. No, can I don't think we can. Way. Some kangaroo wranglers head in through the front. Oh, yeah. my boss. All right, Jammers, I'm lighting Lost one. the battlements. Oh, oh, Rupert, no! Oh, boy. All right. That's good. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Get in. Get in, Stick get together. inside, get some roof over our heads. They can't shoot down if they're on top floors and we're on the lowers. We don't need to go up there. The throne room's on the bottom floor. Yeah, it's right That's here, where we Pindo. actually need to be. This is the uh, whistle Lagundo. you need to hold. Walk into the, yeah. walk into the throne room, Lagundo. <laughs> it's yes. waiting for you. No, let's, let's not go. Oh, yep. no. Oh, Goodbye, oh, no. Theodore. Oh, my Doesn't this throne sound from? Isn't this throne amazing? I love being on this Bugaboo. throne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no way. laughs> that was great. Wow! Because right I sure am. Shut up! They're shadow! They're shadow! Hey, Yodic. Right here, They're on the right. Oh, oh, no. No. oh my oh, god. Hey, come oh, back. Come back. Oh, I don't know who is who. Wait, what? Oh, my goodness. Nice kill. Nice kill. Nice kill. Oh, nice. Good kill. Wait, good Mongo, kill. Mongo, good kill. Good? I think I'm good. We need we need another way in. We need another way in, everybody. Y'all, regroup. Everybody gather up. We need another way in. Let's. We need another way in. Yo, Jamis is under attack. Someone with TNT, punch a hole. We need another way in. We need to punch a hole. Rofo's being attacked by dogs. Rofo, back up. Are those your dogs or no? Rofo, give him a treat. Give him a treat, Rofo. Get back up. Get back up. Behind the front room, behind the front room. Hey, hey, they're flaking around, they're flaking around. Or is that, no, that's okay. What is that? No, Shadow's over here. Potions? Oh, we just wait, wait, where's Shadow? Wait, who found Shadow? Mongo? Okay, follow Mongo, follow Mongo! Sneeves in the throne room. Sneeves in the throne room? Sneeves in the throne room. Sneeves in the throne room. No, not a Sneeves. Kill him. Where's Sneeves? Sneeves, you're going down. What you did to me earlier. That guy's pissed. Yeah, it's a bad idea to... Like, go there. Mongo, careful, you're by yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah guys. Oh. Steve! Oh, no, Steve! Shadow, where are you? I'm in the throne room. Kim, no! <laughs> you killed your own men! I got Shadow to kill his own men! Shadows oh, outside. Shadows right, outside. Tom, he has a ton of kangaroos. Zone, he's on, he's on with these kangaroos. That was an angry dog. Hit. Get wrecked, it's me. It's me. I accidentally shot rope. Ow! Oh! I'm sorry, HP. I know they were your children. Yep, yep, yeah. Yep. It only matters if I'm dead. We're still alive. We're right still alive. I'm fine. Do we have any splash potions? Do, do we have any splash potions? Yeah. Splash strength. Everybody on strength. me. Splash strength on me. Everybody in. Three, two. We're getting bombarded. Three, two, one, go. Hurry. Yeah. yeah, they're all over here. Yeah, come on, guys, come in. <laughs> come on, Sean, keep peeking, man. Come on, oh, no. let, let, let me see that little helmet pop over the side, man. Come on, just, I just want a little Kipley, peek. join us. No, <laughs> you're insane. No, I'm good, bro. I spent enough time there. You're going back in the cage, Kipley. You're not putting me back in the cage, Sean. Get out of there. Ryan's on the high ground. Watch the battlements. They're on this side, Jamie. Be careful. Okay. Go in here. Stick together. Go in. Yep. Mongo. Yeah, we got invisibility right here. Someone's invisible right here. That's me. Oh, oh why like... are you not talking then? No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that person who's right invisible here. and naked. No, that's yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, no, yeah, no, right no, no, no. here. Wait, 
Wait, where? You can see the footsteps. Follow the footsteps. Be careful with the swinging, though. Oh, right I saw, I saw They're a right part. They're right here. They're right here. They're right here. Hit it. Hit it now. Hit it now. Wait, also, who's kangaroos? Are Robin? these Sean's kangaroos? I'm going to kill them. I think that's Sean who's invisible and running guys, around. Guys, guys, careful, careful, careful. Mongo, we need to we need to get in here a little bit. We need to get towards the throne. <laughs> yeah, we can't even hear anything. Uh, -huh. uh you see up there? Yeah, you want to go up? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, oh. I don't trust this. Let's kill this thing. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Too late. There are a lot of diamond kangaroos to the right. All right, come on. Where are they? Kangaroo. Where are you guys? Above you. My king. Yes. Okay, they out it's straight. almost time. It they is almost time. Yeah, he's taking down there, so. Dal, the red. The little red, she's on there too. Okay, everyone remember, stick to the plan. Stick to the plan. Once they're in, hit it. I'm being attacked, being attacked. Here, Jamie. I can see you. I'm pretty sure they have part of this trapped. Yes! Go, HP! Oh, nice! Manga! Oh, nice! All right, all right. Push, push, push. Nice. We're in the room. Get in the throne. Secure the secure Ryan's this floor. This tower. Ryan's secure this, this floor. Tower. Okay, wait, wait, yeah, wait. I wanna I wanna just test something by the throne real quick, okay? No one no Se one go by the yeah. throne. Yeah. I, I I just wanna I just wanna test the room a little you bit. You know what? <laughs> Worth it. We can rebuild the throne. Shadow's if necessary. coming down, shadow's coming down. Shadow Good. down. I'm, I'm king. Shadow's them. right I'm here. Four of them from going in right now by just shooting them with arrows. Wait. They won't push further. Kill and there's other the two cronies right. uh, in the yeah, far yeah, tower. In this yeah, I see them place. over this way. If they have a, they have a bunch of teams in here. Yeah, get in here. Uh, Tanisha, Tanisha. Right. Oh, right. there's one. Right here. Come in, Robin. Come on. No! Come here. My child. Yeah, I can see that. Sounds like they're placing TNT to the left. Go in. If I die, it's fine. Okay, wait, no. See, they're all on the upper floor right there. You see their names? Shadow's outside on the left here. On me. We gotta climb the stairs. Where the hell are you? Storeroom on your right. Get out of here, though. Behind you, behind me, behind me, behind me. I'm coming in. Jamie, I'm right behind you. There's Tanisha. Okay. Grady. There's one that slipped off to the left. He's right here, guys, guys, get him! Get him! He's in the corner. He's playing! I see him, 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 I see him. Get him. Loose arrows! He's purling around, he's purling around. He's so dead, he's so dead. No, no, oh, he's Grady, I'm sorry, I hit you. I'm sorry, I hit you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's purling back into the castle, he's just making a giant loop! He's just keeping us busy, he's trying to get us away from the castle. We need to be on the throne. Regroup, recollect. Shadow's in here! Shadow's on he the fell, throne. he fell inside the basalt. Yeah, get him! Get him, he's stuck! I hit him, I hit him once, Chevy! Oh! Get him! Get him! Kill him! Kill the king! No! Kill the king! Kill the king! Kill go. the false oh. king! Let him kill himself with pearls. That would be a hilarious end to all of this. Make sure someone's in there. Yeah, let's keep let's keep some people stationed in the throne room, I agree. They probably have TNT above the throne room and they're gonna just blow it as soon as they're ready. What time what timer is there though? I don't know. I thought we were I thought it was supposed to be like whoever's no, on the throne at a certain time. Wait, wait, what happened right uh, now? Right, I've got an idea. Rofo has an idea. There's, there's uh there's like two of them upstairs. Why don't like three? Is it three? Yeah, Why Ryan, don't we take a group? Ryan, it's Ryan, yeah, it's Sean, and uh, MX. That's Robert it. time? Yeah, uh, like what are we doing? Yeah, I need make boots. sure to loot some of their bodies. We've got potions remaining. off them. Oh, there's 25 yeah, yeah, minutes? Yeah. So we should chase. We should chase Shadow. Kip, Kip you're, the, you're the queen of you're the queen no. Geraldine. we got to keep you no. alive, too. Are we allowed to just, like, block by block mine through this? Or is it only TNT? Hey, 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 TNT. Wait, TNT. what is it? Hey, guys, wait, Grady. What? Did we, did we see this? Okay. Then I will not pursue that line of attack anymore. Who, They're on who the roof. They're, They're on, shadow? on the roof. So okay, it's wait. it's Sean, okay, wait, 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 wait. Ryan, MX. Sean, Ryan, and MX. Rofo's directly and above us. Shadow. Somebody should go back up Rofo. 
Okay, but yeah, Rofo, is there any contraption up there or anything? Let's clear no, the no, building immediately above us, right? Let's clear the yeah, building. Yeah, okay. I'm, let's I'm clear the room immediately above the throne. Oh, we'll take those? all of them. Yeah, there's a bunch. Eight, there's a couple ducks. I know. Oh, I yes. Coming. That's awesome. Let me, uh, let me tell you the, the, the way off. Okay, boom. All right. Let's go. There's no way. There's no way. Never mind. I hear booms. They're capping. Boom. Never mind. Yep, hi. Tanisha! Oh, Tanisha! No, Ted! Tanisha died twice! No! no! Hey, wait, okay, wait, wait. Right now, we have the upper floor right above the throne room secured, right? Wait, I see Sean! Sean, play Grady! Someone help Grady up there! I'm not up there! I'm not up there! Someone help Grady! Got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice, Mongo! Hey, Sean's still up there! Sean's still up there! I'm running out, Let's go, Grady! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, Grady! Yes, Grady! Brady, well done. It's just Shadow. It's just Shadow. It's just Shadow. The yeah. final boss. Of course, just yeah. the kid. Oh, Ryan's Brady. back. Ryan's okay, back. give him a second. Give yeah. him a second. Right, to, yeah. Like, give really give Ryan some space. That's, yeah, that's... We'll yeah, be fair. My game ah! crashed. Can I, can I run? <laughs> we'll can be I fair. Run? You can yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, run. 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 Ready? Ah. Ready? <laughs> what, what's the situation going on right now? Like, who's the live right. still? Uh, it's uh, it's you, you, Shadow, and Shadow. Forge. Yeah. And okay. no, ten. Forge died. Sean died. Sean died. Sean died. Everyone's dead. It's just Shadow. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two. We're coming for one. you, Ryan. Oh, there's stairs down here. God there's damn. Like a dungeon down here. A dungeon? <laughs> That's where they're gonna end up. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Kip, the dungeon no, down here. Kipley, yeah, Kipley, it'll, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Breathe, breathe, breathe. <laughs> Kipley, breathe, 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 <laughs> breathe, <laughs> breathe. <laughs> come to my hole, please. Oh, uh, Ryan's right here. Oh, get him! Really, we need it. We need people to stick my legs now. Oh yes! Oh, oh. you better get him! Grady. Well done, Grady. Wait, Grady. Oh, Grady is the doing? killer, bro. Grady, come here. Jammers I need to. Right. I knight right. thee. I knight thee, Lord murders a lot. Yes, <laughs> Grady. I come bearing some news. The king, the false king, shadow. Has fled. He's run. And well, we couldn't find him. He like ran off. <laughs> <laughs> we like chased. We chased him over the fields, oh, and then he like kept pelling. The king of the north. 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 King of the north. King of the king north. 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 <laughs> that scared the heck out of me. Yeah. King of the North! King of the North! Yeah. King of the North! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! It's mine! Happy New Year! It's mine! It's mine. Yeah. I want it! It's mine! <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh, hold on. Before, before the dead kings rise, Kipley, approach the throne. Oh, yes. My king! As promised. The not so short queen of the kingdom of Geraldine. Your first mission eliminate oh. the false king. Shut up! Alright, there it is! Congratulations, you win! <laughs> 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 <laughs>